Well, hello, hello, everyone. Oh, man, I can really hear myself now. <laughs> um, but hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for stopping by for the stream today. So let's see who do we got in here so far. Um, hello, Gorg465. Hello, Mr. A. Hello, David M. Hello, Destroyer of Hope. Hello, Jim VB. Hello, Cyrusicus. Uh, is that everybody? Uh, hello, Mark Zima. Hope you're all doing well. We're going to just be uh, playing some, some usual Civ today. You know, see how things goes. Hopefully... See how things goes. You know, the English is starting off really well already. All right, let me make sure you can actually hear Civ today. Um, unlike last stream where I found out... Hello, Meta Knight 145 <laughs> But unlike last stream where I found out, like, two hours into it that <laughs> you guys couldn't hear the stream. Or that you couldn't hear Civ. And I was like, well, that's an oops. But yeah. Um, I guess I should probably actually make it so you can see Civ as well. That would be a good idea. There we go. Switch over to that, bring back up my chat. All right, there we go. Christopher Tin. Yeah, good old, uh, good old, good old Chrissy Tin boy. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna play, I don't know who we're gonna play today. We're gonna play somebody. Oh, hello, Omega Ice. Didn't see you were in here. And good morning. I mean, it's kind of noon for me, but I mean, <laughs> I admittedly did just wake up at uh, like 11.30. It's currently 12.30, so it still pretty much is morning to me. Not Germany? Hey, we didn't even play Germany last time. Uh, I'm tempted to give Spain another go. Maybe... I don't know. I've, I'm feeling like playing a naval sieve. That's that's why. That's, like, that's, that's what the obsession with Spain is. Spain kind of sucks, though. Maybe, maybe we'll give Victoria another go. Indonesia. Could do Indonesia. Could do Dido as well. But I really want, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give Victoria another go. And then we'll just keep rotating around naval civs until we get one that we actually don't suck as. <laughs> it's just, it's the general theme, you know? But, yeah, we'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe we'll be surprised. Um... Hmm, do we go island plates? I think we still do go island plates. Dido's a really good contender. Yeah, I know, like, Dido, I think, is actually pretty fun as well. Thing is, like, I, I have recently played Dido, though, so I'm, I'm still trying to expand my my sieves that I play, you know? And, uh, you know, just try to get more comfortable with the sieves that aren't really that good. So, hence the, the playing of sucky sieves lately. Like Spain and Victoria, and who else did we play? We haven't played Harold yet. <laughs> Could play Harold. He is indeed a naval civ. He does check the boxes. He's a naval civ. Maori is for easy. Yeah, exactly. Like, I could play Maori or, like, Korea or somebody, but that would be boring. I would just win. Alright, and as we get into the stream, you guys can all hear the game, right? Like, you can hear Sean Bean talking right now, right? <laughs> just making sure. Your Majesty, the Queen Victoria of England... Extend your reach beyond your or you'll just rage quit after 50 minutes of restarting and play Germany. No, we didn't even do that last game. Or last stream. Last week. That's the one. We eventually rage quit and we played, uh... What's her name? Nubia. But that's different. Sexy narration. What's your opinion on playing as Victoria and playing a domination and religion run? I don't, I'm not a fan of that. I think that her early game is slow enough as is. I think getting a religion answer, I think, slows her down even more. Evening sexy, yes, we can hear it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jared ba ba Bolger. Yeah, Bolger, I almost said Bogler, but no. Thank you very much, Jared, for the two euros. Yeah. <laughs> Also, did you notice that, uh, you know, Russell, our, our favorite narration robot, yeah, he, he, he called me sexy. He didn't say sexy. But thank you very much. Spain's the best sieve. Get out of here. Spain is not the best sieve. Spain isn't even a contender for the best sieve. Um, this spawn is okay. It's not, like, outstanding, but it's okay. So, like, you know what? We will roll with it. We're not on the coast, though. Okay, bye. <laughs> hey, dude. you can't leave. Maybe, I mean, if we if we fail on Victoria a few times, then we'll go to Spain, and then we'll fail on Spain a few times, too. 
Do I consider playing Tropica 6? Um, I have considered a little bit. I've not gotten into it. Oh, one thing that I did, I just recently bought it, like, two days ago, is, um, Total War. The new Total War game that came out. Uh, Three Kingdoms. I did buy it. I haven't, I haven't got the chance to play it, because I've been at work, and then I've been at home, and just, you know, haven't had that much time. Um, but this weekend, I'll probably play it. I might, you know, I'll probably do the same thing that I did with Anno, and I'll, I'll do, like, a little, you know, first look video of, uh, Total War Three Kingdoms. Maybe we'll actually do um, some gameplay of it. I'm still planning on doing some gameplay of Anno if I can record it. I'm trying to get. It's not really that. Um, it's not really that easy to run. <laughs> it kind of blows my PC up. Uh, the problem is I'm starting to realize that my graphics card is, um, you know, kind of. It's not getting. It's it's getting a, it's getting outdated by streaming terms. Like if I'm playing just on my own, it's fine. But for streaming, it's it's getting a little bit outdated. So that that's why there's the little uh, the little bar that's above the chat. That's the the progress bar towards getting a new GPU. So I'm I'm aiming for like a uh, G, or an RTX 2080. Um, I think that, that that like that'll be a that'll be a nice a nice upgrade. Because I'm at, I'm at a 1070 right now, and it's just it's starting to show its age a little bit, especially since I play in 1440p. So that's why that's there. So if you want to support the cause, feel free. Go for Anno. Yeah, like, Anno, <laughs> Anno's a game that at the end of the school year, you know, I picked it up and I was playing it a ton, and then after, you know, when I moved to Florida for the summer and a lot happened, I just kind of stopped playing it for a little bit. And I really need to get back into it. Also, I don't know why I'm going a builder again first. I've been doing that in the last few streams. I've been getting a builder instead of a scout. I think it's just because of I'm playing... When you're playing on island plates, like, there's not really that much that you can explore with a scout, so normally one warrior is fine. When you find yourself in a hole... Quit digging. Alright, boosted our knowledge of irrigation. Um... Okay, there is no Hypatia, so we're not like really pressured to get an early thing. I want to get sailing. Yeah, there's the barb camp up here in the north that we probably want to deal with. There was a scout that was down here, so... There might be another barb camp down here as well. Oh, well, there's the scout up there. He's just found me. He's probably gonna harass my poor builder. I have my finals this week watching you play makes me want to play so bad. Oh. Finals week is always a fun time, isn't it? Oh, okay, we found a goodie hut. We'll go for a mine here. We'll probably put a mine on that gypsum as well. Um, we, of course, don't have the tile yet, though. I'm going to keep the builder here, so just in case... Um... Is there a dedicated Discord chat to my subscribers? There isn't one to my subscribers, but there is one to my members, actually. So, yes. Oh, Zanzibar. Um, there should be... Oh, I forget where the instructions are. I think if you go if you go on my channel and click Discussion, I think that there should be a little message in there that you can see if you're a member. Yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah, there are, there, there is a thing, and I think... Actually, um, just put put what your, your Discord ID is in the chat, and I, I can just add you, because I'm pretty sure that's what the instructions say, is to just, like, comment your... Uh, Discord um, username, and then I'll add you to the the member channel. So, if it's just Omega Ice, I can just do it. But yeah. Oh, hey, Octama, how's it going? Why do a modded Civ series with uh, Aether mods? Eh, probably not. As I've mentioned before, I'm just I'm not a big mods guy. I don't know why. Like even <laughs> even when they improve the game, I just I just don't like them that much. What victory am I going for? PS Science Victory in the new DLC is still really easy. I mean, honestly, that's probably what I'm going to go for, actually, is Science Victory. I don't really know what else you go for on England. I mean, you can go Domination, but I don't think... I'm not I'm not feeling the Domination today, you know? Yeah, um... Oh my god, I, like, there is, there is the, 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 the members Discord, but I don't, I don't think anybody's joined it yet, which is... <laughs> it's kind of goofy, because that's, like, that's what the listed, uh you know, benefit for being a member is is that you get access to the members only Discord, but I don't think anybody else has joined it yet. So, um, send me a message on Discord, and that way I'll, I'll, I'll add you after the stream. 
Uh, what do we get here? I still might go God of the Sea. Because we don't have that much... Um, uh, at the same time, Divine Spark is still so good. We don't have a lot of production on these tiles, though, so we need some way to get production. So I think we will go God of the Sea. Doesn't really benefit us, bit, ben, uh, ugh, English. benefit us yet, but it will. What was that building that England had? The British Museum. It used to be good. All those luxury resources would be an insane Monty spawn. We have what? We don't have that many. We have gypsum and marble. And I guess, uh, I guess, yeah, pearls. That's three. That's like, that's pretty standard. I really wish that these uh, <laughs> city-states weren't blocking me. Well, they probably just killed the barb camp, I think. So, one, two, three, four, five. Or if we go four, one, two, three, four, we could do another one right there. So if we settle one right here, um, and then we can go one, two, three, four, settle another one down there. Really just populate this coastline. How good do you feel all the civs are compared to the current DLC and civs? Thank you very much, Jared, for the five euro donation. Um, but how, how good do I feel older civs are compared to the current DLC civs? Um, it really depends on the civ. I think some of them, like, some of them are still good. Obviously, like, Germany, um, Persia, like, uh, like uh, a lot of the old civs are still very good. Um, but there also are some very good civs added in the DLC. Like, obviously, you have Korea, you have the Maori, like, you, like th there are some pretty insane civs that get added. Also, this guy is still not moving. Um, so, like, I don't think one, like, I don't think that the old civs are better than the Still DLC, or, you know, vice versa. Oh man, we're stupid, we forgot to change off of that. Um, but, like, yeah, like, I don't think one category is really better or worse than the other one, but... I think it obviously just varies by the leaders themselves. And we'll go settle, plop a city down right over here. Uh, I'm nervous making him move, because I'm worried that that... <laughs> Let's hope that... Okay, actually, wait, never mind, that scout can't take him. Okay, because he doesn't have enough movement. Um, what just got built? Stonehenge, yeah. Catastrophic disasters is the only mod worth using. Oh, this looks like some good territory. Look, there's coffee. More, more luxuries. It looks like we're on this continent by ourselves, which I think is kind of nice. There we go, this will get us sailing as well. The founding of Brisbane. <laughs> Discord ideas, oh my guys, I looked on there for you, but I'm not super familiar with Discord. Oh right, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll make sure here, I'll add you right now before I forget, because otherwise I'll probably forget after. Um, I think I just have a... Oh man, I gotta remember how to do it now. I think it's just a roll. Yep, okay, it's just a roll. So let me find you here real fast, and I will add you to the roll. Um, oh my guys, uh oh, I don't see you in here. Are you in, like, the Discord channel? It looks like a very Brittany content. It actually, it, yeah, it does kind of look... Alright. Yeah, um, don't don't let me forget whenever I end the stream, but <laughs> but I'll uh, look some more at the end and I'll, I'll I'll make sure I add you in there. Oh, you, uh, oh, so you're not even in, in the Discord channel, huh? Is it in this description? No. Um, if you go on any of my videos, there's a there there there's a link to join our Discord in like any of the video descriptions that I have. So you can just go on there and then join join the Discord channel, um, and then from there I'll I'll, I'll add you to the members. No problem, no problem. Um, I thought we could three. probably... I see, now I kind of wish that I squished Bristol down one. Oh, never mind, we can't settle there anyways. We're, 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 we're gonna move this guy over one, though. I'll we'll space him out a little bit. And then, one, two, three, four. We'll probably place another city over here. What's the city-state type as in the next series? Um, yeah, so I, I, I was thinking about that. I could either do... 
I think I'm probably gonna do the industrial ones. I think I think they're gonna be next. Why can you buy 30 rounds gold with two thirds of the AI? Or with wait, why can you buy 30 rounds gold with two thirds of the gold from the AI? It's crazy. And then you can start to stack it late game. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> All right, let's get another settler. But yeah, I think I think I'm doing the industrial ones next, and then probably. I don't know, maybe the scientific after that. Hello there, Earl Grey. How's it going? Also, can anybody confirm that the uh, that the super chat donations went into the, the little progress bar towards the GPU? Has it changed from $100? Or is it still on 100 Because if not, I'll probably have to manually add it, which is a pain. But, <laughs> but I can do it. Ding, ding, Every nation ding, lives ding. by exchanging. All right, we really need to get this galley out. I feel that Rise and Fall is better civ-wise than Gathering Storm, but Gathering Storm is 100% better, and I feel the older civs are outdated compared to the newer civs. I don't know. I think, oh, I think some of it, some of the older civs are pretty bad. I think, I don't know. It's still at 100? Okay. But I think that some of the, um, probably a good portion of the older civs are like in the lower tiers, but that's just because there are more of them, I think, is really. Like percentage-wise, they're probably about equal. I don't know, that, that's that's an interesting thing about. Maybe maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll go on my uh, my spreadsheet and I'll, I'll change it so that way it like, you know, lists which which uh, DLC a Civ is from and then, you know, you could actually take a look at it and see if they're better or worse. What type of map is this? This is Island Plates. You could change anything in the game, what would you change? The loyalty system. <laughs> the loyalty system is frustrating. Because, like, I like the idea of the loyalty system. But the problem is, it's just, it works in such a strange way that it is frustrating. A lot of the time. Um, mainly just with settling. Like, I, th I think for war, it's okay. But for settling, I think it's a pain. Because someone will, like, forward settle you and it'll be fine. Then you try to settle, like three tiles away from your capital and you're losing a ton of loyalty. Russia and Germany are still at the top. Yeah, exactly. Like, there, there still are a lot of the base game civs at the top. I think there's probably more base game civs at the, uh, in the high tiers than there are non-base game civs. Okay, we definitely do want to befriend Zanzibar. And we'll go settle... I think we'll go settle this guy down here. And we'll just get another settler. Court of Love, yeah, like you see, yeah, like Court of Love is a way to make it like actually make loyalty not that much of a pain because it's like it's a very fun way to play with loyalty. What's the ideal amount of cities? Honestly, as many as you can get, <laughs> like as many as you can sustain is pretty much the ideal in Civ Six. Because there isn't really much of a penalty towards settling more. So, you might as well just keep settling if you can. Also, rip that Dark Age. It's okay, it happens though. Um, free inquiry, as always. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding. Ron, what year does the new global warming usually hit? That I'm not sure of. I unfortunately haven't got to play all that much Civ um, after that patch went out, so I don't know. <laughs> Let's restart. No, we can't restart. Things are still going okay in this game. May the forces My progress towards to early empires increase. All right, cool. So we can get production towards settlers, and we're going to go for maritime industries. We don't really need to worry about fighting barbarians that much, because... This is a really small continent, so they're not going to have that much space. We have a lot of gold. What are we getting? Oh, I guess because we know we met Zanzibar. Look, we're going to be scumbags and <laughs> buy all of Zanzibar's tiles. Sorry, Zanzibar. Had to do it to you. Anything over six or seven cities for you, I, I find it hard to sustain. Yeah, like once you get past seven, I think that's when it starts to be getting uh, difficult with amenities. But, like, no normally I find that seven is about where I where I end up. Best thing about island plates is that you can you can't be rushed down by ten warriors. Yeah, that's well you still can. I'm pretty sure we got rushed down by warriors in one of the games we played last week. But 
Hey there, first time catching you on live stream. Love your videos, keep up the good work. Thank you, Light Reborn, and I'm glad that you could stop by. All right, we need to get astrology because we need to get to our Royal Navy Dockyards. And, um, ooh, who do we go for our governor? I don't know what we get. Like, I'm still inclined to say Magnus because then you can get um, provision, which is good. Why do some people have the Saxy Gamer logo on the chat? It's because they are channel members. So channel members are like um, subscriptions on Twitch. It's like, you know, like the monthly thing, $5 a month, and I get a good portion of that $5. So if you're interested in that, you can click the join button in, uh, I think, right below the stream, or there is a link in the description as well for that. But yeah, that's that's like a service that, you've, that YouTube offers, um, kind of like Twitch subscriptions. And yeah, they help fund my Roomba army. They're, they're, they're my... Uh, they're my, my uh, sponsors for helping me develop a Roomba lawnmower. It chops everybody up. What's <laughs> your opinion about Greece of Pericles and his insane culture game? Oh, yeah, it's broken. So, I, I played a game with Ian and Dave. Um, also, hang on, wait. Let me, let me, <laughs> let me decide on my governor real fast. Um, new Pingala should be hired early. Yeah, I, I like Pingala. At the same time, I love Provision. I don't think we really need Provision that much this game, though. So, yeah, I think we might go Pingala. Or Liang. I like Liang, too. Now let's, let's, let's go Pingala. But what was I saying? Oh, man, I just totally forgot what I was saying now. <laughs> Starts with Lawn Mars, then it will be the world. Exactly. It's, 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 it's like a, it's a slow burn, you know? Let's send our warrior up here, so that way we can clear that barb encampment. Oh, Chin Chi Huang. Everybody always makes fun of how I say Chin Chi Huang. Probably because I say it so fast. Hey, we got our first galley. Alright, so now the plan is just... We gotta go and we gotta find another continent. Oh, well, Chin's probably down here somewhere, judging by those galleys that he has. Upgrade this guy to an archer, and we'll just defend ourselves until this warrior can get up here. Oh, talking about Pericles, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I was I was playing a multiplayer game, um, not on stream, uh, but just playing a game with Ian and Dave the other week, and I, I was playing Pericles. It's it's been a while since I've last played Pericles, and I was like, wow, he is he's honestly insane. Like, the amount of culture you get is just ridiculous. You can get so much. And he, like, he is a pretty fun leader to play as well. So, that's like, double the benefit. The barbarians that are trying to evidently take over my capital or something. Alright. Let's start. Um, let's get writing. Let's switch off of this because we'll we'll get that just in due time. There's the barbs. Hopefully they don't spawn. Oh, look who it is! It's our favorite Civ, Germany. Hi, Germany. All right, guys. I think we should restart and play Germany. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Or am I? Bum, bum, bum. So we'll settle this guy, and then really we only have we'll put one city up here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll put one right there, and then that's really it for for our continent. Then it's all up to the rest of the world. Go settle that. Um, I think over here, let's just get another monument to keep our culture up. And we'll finish. Has anyone had fun playing Canada? No. <laughs> at least I haven't. I, d I don't find Canada to be offensive at all. I think that they're just... I don't know. Like, I kind of... I like the idea of Canada, but they're just not fun. And I don't even know what makes them so not fun. Let's start going towards Celestial Navigation. Let's get a Builder over here. 
at the same time, a campus would be pretty nice. Yeah, let's actually, let's get the campus. Oh, we can get a campus over there. That's, I forgot, we have all these cities. And then, yeah, we'll go explore around, see what we can find. A sieve without war is, 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 wait. A sieve without war is a sieve that deserves to be warred upon. Yes. Precisely. What did, oh. I was gonna say, I was like, what did this guy fight? But there was that scout there. Lack of production. Yeah, the lack of production makes it just so slow to play him. I'm surprised we haven't found any other continents yet. Or maybe we have. Okay, yeah, we have. I'm surprised that this one is still the same continent. Looks like there's some decent land. There's a cultural city-state over there. They didn't buff that. Or, or didn't they buff that? Yeah, yeah, they did. They gave him more production from hills. Which, like, it helped a little bit. I guess. It wasn't that insane, but it was a little bit of a boost. Oh, Halong Bay. I think this next settler is going to be uh, going over here. Let's switch to shipbuilding. Because I think you need shipbuilding to get your settlers to embark. Vilnius. Vilnius is bleh. They're not that good. So maybe we'll end up taking Vilnius. Australia gets some insane district adjacencies with the Eiffel Tower. Yep. Mohenjadaro. Okay, now Mohenjadaro. They're, they're actually pretty good. China has actually some relaxing music. What type of victory should I aim for with the Netherlands? You can really you can go for a lot of things with the Netherlands. They're they're one of those civs that's just like versatile. Um, Culture is a good choice on them. So is science, honestly, just because you can get good district adjacencies. So I mean, if you go for either one of those, you'll probably be pretty good. Oh, of course, it's negative 20 loyalty there. Ugh. See, this is what I'm talking about with the loyalty system. It's infuriating. All I want to do is go settle and have fun. But I can't. Do I have a list of the top fun civs to play? I don't, actually. However, I might I might make something like that. So, I may. Well, I think after I finish... Um, the leader spotlight. So the only one I have left to do is the Molly. So after I finish that, I think I think I'm I'm gonna do another round of the the best leaders in each category. Um, now that all the civs are in the game, so oh heck, we can settle right there. Which we don't have shipbuilding yet. That's right. <laughs> Oops. Let's get another builder up here while we wait. Uh, actually, we should probably just keep producing settlers. But yeah, like, I might do, you know, obviously the good civs in the game, then I might also do the most fun civs in the game. Oh, we have found another continent. What? What's the other continent? Oh, that's actually a separate continent even from that one. Say Eleanor's the most fun to play? See, I'm not a huge fan of Eleanor. I know there are a lot of people that seem to really like Eleanor, but I don't know. I'm not that much of a fan of her. Oh, there's the barbs. Oh, I really wish we could get through there. There's this one tile of deep ocean that we can't get through on both sides there. We got nine turns till shipbuilding. It's not bad. It's not good. But it's not bad. I think we're going to have these guys just automatically explore now. They can go look around. Find all the good stuff. Tato is playing with mods that buff tall play and pixel wide leader row. <laughs> okay, that doesn't really make sense, but I guess, you know, to each their own, really, you know? Actually... I'll control this guy. I think I'll have this guy automatically explore. British Empire was the largest empire in the world and have really bad Dom game. 
I don't think they're. I think they're. They're meant to be a domination sieve. That, uh, yeah, that definitely doesn't mean they're good at it, but they're meant to be a domination sieve. And look, we're friends with Germany. Of course, we're friends with Germany. Everybody knows we love Germany. So much hate for religion, but you can buy GDRs with them. I guess you can, yeah, if you build uh, whatever the thing is that allows you to purchase religious or military units with faith. I don't underrate the value of military. I don't underrate the value of military knowledge. I want to get open borders with China. Okay, good, he wants. I'll send him a delegation. Except he says no. So fine, China. Yo, Oscar the Grouch over there. My delegate Whitney learned that Germany is trading with the Mali. Well, I guess we've learned that the Mali are in this game. Alright, let's improve some sea tiles. So that way we can get the boost towards um, the thing for Royal Navy Dockyards. Oh, I see that's a hill tile. I hate to replace a hill tile. We could get a plus two over here. That's from Rainforest though, which will probably eventually chop, so. Maybe we'll just do a line of campuses over here. <laughs> just put them all there. Mansa Musa is fun because he plays so differently. Yeah, I haven't played Mansa Musa that much yet. I don't know, like, at first I thought he was going to be really cool, but then I just, like, I ended up not being all that interested in him. Um, I think let's actually, let's get rid of the cattle. Let's place it here. Because that way we're still going to get two science. We're, we're going to get the three science, and we'll save the mine for production. Since we don't have a lot of hill tiles, we need some sort of way to get production. Is there an Age of Wonders planet fall idea in the future? Um, I don't know. I, I admittedly don't even know what Age of Wonders Planet Fall is, <laughs> but if you could, if you could describe, that would be awesome. There are a lot of games that I want to expand to, because you see, like, I'm, I'm, I'm reaching the point with the channel that, like, now that some of the hype around Gathering Storm and Civ is dying down, you know, like, the growth is dying down significantly. Saxy Gamer is a dying YouTuber confirmed. <laughs> So like I have to I have to find some way to you know like revitalize things to get get more people coming in again because the, obviously the goal is always to keep growing. Ah look, we're now the suzerain of Zanzibar. The Sultan of Oman lives in Zanzibar now. All right, let's send this guy over here. It's gonna take him a while to do that. Best mod is Supercat's simple UI adjustments. I actually, I'm pretty sure I have it installed, but it's that's the mod that I always complain about because it irritates me. <laughs> Let's get a library. Some civs who we'd love to see return. I want to see Portugal come back. I loved Portugal. I think Venice would be cool as well. Um, honestly, if we just get like a, an Italy civ, I would, I'd be pretty okay with that. Okay, we're actually gonna move Pingala over here. Nope, not there. Nope, not there. Bristol. That's the one. But yeah, those those guys I'd love to see back from Civ 5. I wouldn't mind some of like the other like ancient civs, like um, Nebuchadnezzar and whoever whoever led Assyria in Civ 5. I think some of those guys would be cool. Plays Titanic theme on <laughs> recorder rip gathering storm rip. Phoenician when they build the Kothan. Now the Phoenicians can get down to business. Yeah, honest dude, I love the Kothan. I think the Kothan's one of the. It's a very strong. Oh my god, look at this! Look at the navy that they have over here. Surprised. <laughs> See, we'll probably end up taking over China eventually. That's the goal. So I think what you want to do with um, with Victoria is you just kind of like settle for a good portion of the game. And after you do that for about 10 million years, then you go... And once you hit like the Renaissance era, 
then you go and you start declaring war, and you do you do naval war on people. Get Stalin back. <laughs> yeah, Stalin was in Civ 4. That is another thing I'd like to see is just more alternate leaders for Civs. Cause like I think I think the uh, the alternate leaders thing is pretty fun. Where are we sending this settler? Maybe let's let's finish this last uh, spot on our continent, and we'll move to more. Am I gonna start at opium war? Oh, I guess I am. Yeah. Would you look at that? I guess I am. Oops. There we go. All right. We really just want to keep moving along this top part of the tree. So I guess let's go for currency. Oh, Hattusa. Interesting. Britain invading China with naval power. Historically accurate. It is. Well, my knowledge of horseback riding has increased. Okay. Where's this guy going? I want to. I want him to explore China's coast so we know where we're going to attack. Oh my God! Look at all these galleys that uh, Macedon has. Maybe Civ 6 will be the game that gets a third expansion. I wouldn't be surprised if it was, and I, I hope it does. So that way my channel doesn't die. But <laughs> but no, yeah, like I, I hope it does, and honestly, I, I wouldn't be that surprised if it did. All right, let's put down our Royal Navy Dockyard. England is Spain, but better. Yeah, that's not saying much, is it? Ah, here we go. Oh, Jaya Varman. Oh, what a schmuck. Civ 7 incoming. Yeah, Civ 7 is getting uh, announced tomorrow. No, nah, we're probably at least... We're probably at least two years away from Civ 7 still. Alright, what, what even is Fez's suzerain bonus? When you use a unit to convert a city for the first time, earn 20 science per population in that city. That is... That is literally garbage. Alright, we're gonna go for Hattusa. Gotta make sure I get myself some influence on those scientific city-states. Five gold per turn for eight diplomatic favor. That's kind of worth. Oh, look at that, a plus four Royal Navy Dockyard. That's pretty good. I wonder why China... Oh, China can't reach these spots over here. That's why they haven't settled there. I was like, what the heck? What are they doing? So that explains a lot. Why can't I go... I could have sworn that it used to be a thing. Maybe it was a thing in Civ Five that, like, if you have enough movement to go through... Like, you know, we had three movement, which is enough to take us through there, but it, it doesn't let us go through. I thought that that was a thing, but... Maybe not. Man, our, our continent, like Atlantica, is everywhere. I really wish it wasn't, because we get bonuses for settling on other continents. I forgot to switch off of currency because I'm going to get a trade route in not that long, but that's okay. Um, so we need to get mathematics. What restart are we on? Restart zero. We have not restarted. Oh, oh my god. I want to get that settler so bad. <laughs> Wait, we got to watch it. We got to see where don't land. Don't you dare land. Oh, he hasn't landed. Oh my god. This is, oh, that's a clutch play. Because now we can settle down here. And it's a different continent. Oh my god. That was... We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. We've officially won the game. Alright, let's make sure we don't, uh... We don't lose them. <laughs> Australia is great in your opinion. Yeah, Australia is really good. Hey, we've met Mansabusa. Boom, boom, boom. Blip, blue. Boom, boom, boom. Blip, blue. Um, you see, this is going to be difficult now, because I need to land this guy in order to get him to settle, obviously. But there are a lot of barbarians there that I don't want to, you know, that I don't want them to kill him. 
How many turns do we have until the next era? Because if it's not that many, I'll hold off a few turns to settle these cities. Because we're going to get era score. Because they're going to be the first settlements. Okay, three turns. Yeah, we are definitely going to wait. Divide and rule. Um, I think we go for Classical Republic here. Because we're not really fighting yet. So we kind of just want to like beef ourselves up. In Saxy's world, he's top tier. Of course, yeah, duh. What civs do you think are better? Or jeez, what civs do you think are better to meet as AIs and deal with and actually play as? <laughs> Gandhi, because Gandhi's generally he's not his AI is kind of mean, but generally it's not that bad. So I think Gandhi's one of those ones. I've peaked. I know. But yeah, I think Gandhi's one of those ones. A lot of the other bad civs are like not that nice. Like their AIs are pretty mean in addition to them being terrible civs. Alright, we need to get to open borders with this guy. Set the deal. Georgia is OP. Their Cossacks can make national parks and their Hanses can generate double great profit points. I know, right man, dude. Georgia, am I right? Pingala's top tier. Yeah, Pingala got a lot better in Gathering Storm. Was it? I think it was Gathering Storm that they changed him, right? Or was it a separate patch? I'm pretty sure it was in Gathering Storm, but... I think we're going to settle. We're probably going to end up settling right, right there. Just got the notification, silly YouTube. Yeah, YouTube is very nonsensical a lot of the time. Gandhi's not bad. Proceeds to get nuked. I've, you know, I think there's only been one time when I've ever been nuked in Civ 6, and it was by Gandhi. So. I can't. I, I'm going to lose the settler if I land him right now. Because that's that slinger is right there. Alright, we just need to get a Royal Navy Dockyard, which we can't put anywhere. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we can't put it there because it gets blocked by the uh, the reef thing. I guess we'll put it down here, where it still gets a plus two. He always asks you to start a joint war, but doesn't help at all. That's all the, that's all the AI in this game. They ask for a joint war, and then they do nothing. Do I have a Discord account? Like a server? I do. The, uh, the link to join it. I'm so, I don't know. I need to just add it to my... Oh, well, rip science victory if we met Korea. But yeah, I uh, I do have a Discord server. Um, the link to join is in any of my videos in the description. It's down there. So feel free to come on and join. All right, we got that heroic age, which means we're going to get everything except for the one for religions. Oh, my God. Look at these guys. Yeah, see, we're getting error score from settling on new continents. We get our free warrior as well because we are England. Oh, look at that, a plus four uh, Royal Navy Dockyard. Oh, that's a good tile. Okay. Gandhi should have a buff to nuke production. <laughs> that would be funny. I, I, I honestly, I kind of wish he did, just for the comedic value of that. Three steps to winning this game. Have a good early game. Um, take all the land that you can. Oh no, what's going to be number three? Um, pay attention to your district placement. And then boom. Just like that, you have won the game. Boing, boing. Don't die. Yeah, don't die. That's another... Ah, that one's... I mean, you, you can do that, but, like, it's not necessary, really. <laughs> it is very necessary. Bang, 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 bang. Step one, sacrifice Dave. Step two, kill Korea. <laughs> hey, don't beat up on Dave. Poor Dave. Um, who do we go now? I think we get... I kind of want to get Reyna. Yeah, let's get Reyna. What the heck? I don't know where I'm going to put her. I'll put her in Manchester. You meant good mid game and good late game? Honestly, like the, the mid game and late game don't even matter that much in comparison to the early game. The early game is where you either win or lose the game, like 90% of the time. <laughs> I 
Steps for victory. Play good, play well, and play excellent. Oh, here we go. Just leave me alone, please. Wait, hang on. Maybe this is the play. Maybe we do unlink these guys. We'll unlink them, and then we'll have the galley bait... Oh, no. Declare war on the molly. We'll have the galley bait away the slinger. And then... Oh, look. We're friends with the molly. But we'll have the galley bait away the slinger. And then we can go and settle. You need ultimate Dave power. I do. All, all Daves do. That's a, that's a known fact of Daveology, all right? Oh my god, it's negative five loyalty now. What happened? So look, we've been dragging our feet too much down here. All right, maybe we'll go settle over here instead. We'll go settle on that little thing. Oh, what's up here? Is this like a little continent? I do like my little continents. Have I started the Saxi map? I've not started the Saxi map, no. I totally, I admittedly forgot about the Saxi map. From past videos, step one, don't spawn next to Monty. Yeah. Oh, Cardiff. Cardiff's actually really good for England, I think. If they're who I think they are. Yeah, cities receive plus two power from every harbor building. Because that means we get power. Oh, oh my god, another one. Oh my god, I wonder if we can steal it again. I really hope that it embarks. Please. I wonder who's losing all these settlers. Alright, we're gonna send our settler. We're gonna... This is risky. I really want to take that settler. How about instead of sacrificing Dave, we sacrifice Greg? Yeah, we're, we're that's perfectly acceptable. We're allowed to sacrifice Greg. Next thing you know, Greg's going to appear from the chat. He's going to be like, hey, nerd. Um, that's right, we need open borders with you. Get us those open borders. <laughs> Why not both? I can't sacrifice Dave. Yeah, because remember, two, Dave, two Daves increase the power of both Daves. The first necessity of life. Oh, look, a hurricane. Recreation is a close second. How many cities do we even have right now? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. We only have six. That's not like that much. We are getting all these free naval units because we are building Royal Navy Dockyards. That is one of the things I do actually really like about the Royal Navy Dockyard. The free the free naval units is pretty nice. Oh, we've done the first circumnavigation of the globe. Oh, yeah. Whatever. We'll, we'll get some, some piggies. Bing, bing. Bing, bing. He will be stronger than Sat Shaggy. <laughs> Since this awesome, um, actually probably be a win with England stream on YouTube. Oh, I don't know if it'll be a win. There'll be a VOD, sure, right? Yeah, there is. That's one thing I like about YouTube is it just automatically makes VODs at the end of a stream. Which is really nice. So yeah, there will be a VOD. Alright, where's this guy going? Maybe we'll send him over here by Vilnius. Because we will, I think we are going to take Vilnius eventually. Ding 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 ding. All right, let's let's keep going with settlers. I think. How many rerolls have I done on this stream? You're gonna be amazed when I tell you this. Zero. We are playing England, and we have not yet restarted. I am equally as amazed as you. <laughs> Trust me. Oh. See, these two techs right here are just immediately like naval power, just times thousands. They're so good. Especially since we're getting all these quadrains, we can immediately just upgrade into frigates. What do you need for frigates, though? Is it niter? You do. Okay. So we are going to need military engineering. Alright, so let's actually, let's get that. Do 
do another quadream. Is this island's map? Yeah, this is island plates. We need to redeclare our friendship with Germany. And he says, yes, of course. Thumbs up for no restart yet, I know. So it's it's amazing. Do I install mods that add world wonders or tweak them? Nope. I'm a I'm a vanilla. A vanilla player. Well well Alright, watch, we're gonna we're gonna do all this and we're not gonna have niter, and then we're just gonna be we're gonna be done. Invincibility lies in the defense. Mm -hmm. We're pretty far behind in culture. We need to get the mercenaries, that is one thing we do need. Alright, we should get a harbor master as well. Which, where is she at? She's in the one that has a plus four harbor, so that's still good. Hello, Saxby boy. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing well. Okay. How are you? When wasteful. All right, so we'll get a free melee unit from that. Got to get, of course, our Royal Navy dockyard down. So we'll put it down over here, I think. Do 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 do. Cannot be any better. Ah, oh, that's that's fantastic. <laughs> this gameplay is obviously not from the Saxy game. Rerolling is an, an essential part of Saxy streams. <laughs> you found me out. This is actually Potato Pink Whiskey's gameplay, <laughs> except diarrhea. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Ever thought of speed running this game? I mean, I pretty much do every single time I play. <laughs> But no, not like actual like speed runs, like you know, like actually paying attention to how much time I take and stuff like that, or trying to get like a ridiculously early win. Like I, I've never been one to do that stuff. We got Zheng He. Okay, we are gonna we are gonna want our great admirals. So this guy, what's he improve? Medieval and Renaissance era. So he's he's gonna be good for our caravels and frigates. Potato just released a video. What is it? Ex Saxy Gamer exposed. With the I'm, I bet that's what it was. Okay, I actually want to. I want to look around before I settle a little bit here. Nah, I think I think that spot is actually pretty okay. After looking around for all of three seconds, we can become the Susan Hatusa, which is very good. Because we'll get those free strategic resources. Uh, what, what does Hattusa do now? Is it just two per turn of every one you have, but, or you have revealed? Fights two per turn that you have revealed, but not improved. Okay. We really need aqueducts, actually. We don't have engineering yet. Let's get some aqueducts. And, of course, a Royal Navy Dockyard. Dun, dun, dun. Man, we're building a lot of lighthouses today. Do do do. Which scientific city state is the best? Huh. I think the the best one is probably the one that gives um, the great people Sometimes points. The Stockholm. I think. I think it is. I can't remember. I think it's 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 name changed in Gathering Storm. I, th I think I think it's it's Bologna now, or Bologna, or Bologna, as the Americans would say. Greece has an information era civic, but halves power from the start of the game. I mean, Greece is like I don't know. I think Greece is a pretty good civ. All right, we can probably switch off of feudalism. We really just need more builders. I want to save all this gold because we are eventually going to like need it to upgrade all these units. Because we're going to have to upgrade into... Why can this guy not? Okay. Oh, it's because I'm still in between turns. I play on vanilla, I'm a poor guy. Oof. Do 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 So it's stock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that is the same one. Our capital is still size one. See, that is why I generally do like Magnus, because our capital is still size one. We're so far into the game, and we have a size one capital. That's that's big rip. 
One thing I'm working on trying to get is, so on my game store, I, sh I might actually be able to get, like, permanent discounts on Civ stuff. For, you know, people that are here with my channel. So, it's something I'm trying, I can't guarantee it, or, you know, anything like that. But I am trying to do it, so. It might, it might eventually become a reality. Maybe. Okay, I think we're honestly probably good with settlers for right now. I don't know where I'm sending this guy yet, but we'll find out. Is this deity? Oh, of course it's deity. I was really grateful when you mentioned vanilla and gathering DLC stats. In your cultural cities, yet. yeah, I uh, figured that there was probably there's probably there's probably still a good number of people that don't have the DLC for this game, so try to make sure that everybody at least you know knows what's going on. Reason I even started playing Civ is because of the 75 percent off Steam sale. I <laughs> can't afford the game at the original price. Yeah, Civ is a very expensive game, especially with all the DLC. How's the game store going? Eh, it's been okay. Haven't had that many sales, <laughs> admittedly. Um, so. I was I was kind of expecting more, but it's probably just because you know obviously things are things are just standard price, and I know a lot of people don't like to buy, you know, from places other than Steam itself. So I think that's probably a big part of it. But I don't know. Still, the the uh, the, the people at Chrono are really nice, and it's not like they're like, oh my god, you need to sell more, or we're gonna kick you off or something. Like they're they're chill. They're nice people. One time I got a plus ten harbor hole. Oh, that's pretty insane. I, I had some pretty insane harbors as, uh, what's his name? Japan. Like, I think it was the first stream I ever did. I played Japan, and I, I had some pretty ridiculous harbors. Ah, oh, we also do need an aqueduct over here, though. We should probably get that down. <laughs> See if it has another expansion, then I will buy it from your store. Yeah, you see, that's the unfortunate thing. Like, if I had my store before Gathering Storm, and Gathering Storm was on my store, it probably would have sold, like, ridiculous amounts. But, unfortunately, that was not quite the case. So, it happens. Alright, I think we're still just gonna keep trucking with the, uh, the Colossus over here. Bought it from Humble Bundle subscription for nine for nine dollars, yeah. There was someone that was very offended whenever I announced my store, and they were like, oh, "This is gonna, this is gonna cause you to lose popularity and stuff." And you know, and they were like, "Everybody knows that you can get games for cheaper, like elsewhere." And I was like, "All right, well, like name one reputable source where you can buy games at like really cheap prices." And their their response was G2A, and I was like, "Well, that's uh, <laughs> that's, that explains a lot. G2A is like sketchy, sketchy website 3000." Uh, we, I, I do want to get Mausoleum. Mausoleum is insane. Let's get ancient walls over here, I think. You were like baby. <laughs> what? What, what? I'm a baby? I had plus 24 faith, plus 24 science holy site as Brazil. Okay, that is pretty ridiculous. Well, militaristic in me, so. Ah, Korea's music. It's so good. Korea's probably already in, like... Oh, man, I'm really far behind in a lot of things, aren't I? That's not good. Alright, let's finish the military engineering. I do need... I need to see if I have... Um... Sources of certain resources. GTX is the free virus protection on websites. No, G G G2A is is the virus on most websites. Oh, we met Rome. I didn't even realize. The more science intervenes in warfare. Thought the cap was twelve. Not in all cases. There are some cases where you can get more than twelve. Alright, now let's go for square rigging. 
Jump, boom, 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 boom. I've had farms with a star after 11. Yeah, you can get some pretty insane farms. Not all who wander. I think one one of the things I definitely do like about Civ 6 over Civ 5 is the uh, the change to, to builders as opposed to workers. Where with, like, in Civ 5, you could literally just make one worker and then just have him go for the entire game just being, like, your slave. <laughs> you can't do that in Civ 5, and, or Civ 6, and honestly, I think it's a good thing. Because then you actually have to think about where you're placing your tile improvements and stuff like that. Shum -bum 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 -bum. Oh, we need to redeclare open borders with you. <laughs> or maybe we never had him in the first place, I don't remember. Poor China, he's only got like three cities and we're probably gonna take them. No. No, everybody wants my knighter now. <laughs> no, stop asking. Do we have a source of niter in our territory? Oh, if I could type right, that'd be good. Search. Found seven results. Not ours. Not ours. Not ours. Not ours. Not ours. Not ours. Hey, that one's ours. Okay, we should improve that. Because I want to start building up my stockpile of niter for whenever I get these frigates. Once had a desert city with over 400 production. I thought that like the theoretical max production that you can get in a city is only like 380. Have I seen any state that can defend itself? You mean like a city state? Because if that's the question, the answer is definitely no. All the city states just get obliterated all the time. <laughs> the poor guys. Oh, that's right. We can go across open ocean now. I want to see what's up here. Okay, we just got another great admiral, which is nice. I'm gonna put more envoys into Granada. Oh, that's right, we do have, um... We're in a heroic age. Oh, I'm so dumb. We could have been buying builders this whole time. We don't have Liang, do we? No, okay, we don't. Let's get a builder. I'm only gonna buy one right now. Yeah, I shouldn't have bought that with gold. I should have bought it with faith. I totally forgot about that. I wish the AI would attack you sooner if you have oil or niter. I mean, I kind of do. But at the same time, I don't want to be attacked. The AI is mean. Okay, we are going to go into a normal age at least in the next era. So, it's not terrible. Should give city-state production bonuses, like how the AI gets it on higher difficulties. Yeah, they should. I, I'm surprised that they don't. I mean, the a, I think city-states get, like, free unit upgrades, I think. Alright, we're gonna go for Hunt Sick Dracone, since we are gonna be fighting very soon here. Uh, I want to build a caravel. Uh, we should have bought more builders. I just <laughs> just realized, yeah, because now we just went to the next era. That was that was a pretty big misplay. Is it galleys that upgrade into caravels? I can never remember, like ever. Okay, yeah, it is. We have to get our galleys back. So um, let's find our galleys. So this guy can come on back. This guy as well. You can actually just go over there. Um, that guy we already told to come back. That guy's not ours. This guy is coming back. I think we have one more, don't we? I could have sworn we had another one. Maybe wrong. I guess not. Hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, there we go. We got our feudalism now. We don't need colonization anymore. We definitely want to get serfdom. And maybe what, what else do we want? We just go natural philosophy, get a little bit of extra science right now. 
How's life in Florida? It's pretty good. Just working at my internship. Trying not to die of heat stroke because it's always so hot here. <laughs> and having a great, a, a, a grand old time, you know? So, yeah, it's, it, it's, been, it's been pretty good. So I'm gonna tell the Chinese to not use the stuff that the Brits sell them. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna sell them some illicit materials, probably. Oh, you're gonna start an internship too? That's nice. Oh, this is an expensive upgrade into a caravel. 360 gold. Oh, we actually do need to get... Oh man, once we, once we get naval infrastructure, that's gonna be a nice gold boost. We need to get mercenaries. Because we need the 50% gold discount on all our unit upgrades when we get these uh, frigates, because they're going to be expensive. Alright, we also need more campuses. We said that we were going to go science victory, and here we are, like, not building any, any campuses. Which is not exactly a smart thing. Oh, you're doing an internship right now? So that's nice. We should try to trade away some of our luxuries. Let's see if Ch or Germany will buy any. Oh, you already have gypsum. Maybe, maybe the Mansa Musa doesn't have gypsum. No, he doesn't. Okay, what would you get? <laughs> Three gold per turn. You know, it's better than nothing. Once upgraded a galley to a destroyer. Probably cost a ton of money. Alright, this guy. Keep coming back. Hmm. Making administration for a school district easier for teachers. That's nice. Mm. Nice and helpful. Our culture is 17 per turn. It's kind of low. It's kind of bad. Alright, so this guy will get back in like five turns. We still don't know where we're sending the settler. Should probably find some spot. That hopefully doesn't have negative three million loyalty on it. Could send them all the way down there in the middle of the tundra. Maybe I'll just send. Eh, I don't really want to put another city over there. Maybe we'll send them down here. Yeah, sure. Zoom. Then we boom, boom. Of the mystic boom. Oh, that natural wonder that I never remember the name of. Oh, we actually have another settler still as well. All right, this guy we're gonna have, we're gonna send him over here. He's gonna settle right there. We can't do that yet because of loyalty. But we're, once we take this city from China, then we can do it like really easily. <laughs> actually, ah, never mind. We might eventually settle a city there as well. Jump, boom. Alright, this caravel is nice and ready now. This guy wants my niter. I don't think so, pal. I need that to take over your civilization. There is little man has made. Ah. 330 gold for upgrades to frigates. It's not bad. We are gonna. I think we're gonna wait the extra 10 turns for mercenaries, though, just to make sure that things are okay. So I really don't want to run out of gold. 40 days and Anno is still not cracked. That actually kind of surprises me. Hmm. Ding, 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 ding. Five gold per turn for my gypsum. That's pretty good. What is it that unlocks lumber mills? Do we have that tech yet? Mass pr no. Mass production is boosted by it. Oh, it's machinery. That's right. I just really want to play it. Yeah. Anno, Anno. Oh. Let's drop my water bottle. Oops. Anno, Anno is a fun game. But my wallet says no. 
my mind is telling me no. But my body, my body is telling me yes. All right. Who still needs orders? This guy does. My galley that got back. We'll wait those seven turns to get the upgrades. We do need to get a little bit more culture. Our culture is really bad. 17. How much lira would it cost? What is lira? We're going to have this guy rest here, and I think we're going to settle probably right on that tile. We just have to... Oh, it's Turkish currency. There is no easy I never knew. Hmm, can we get, like, any... Monuments are 200 gold. I don't know if that's really worth it. Imagine paying $300. No, is that actually how much that translates to? $300? No way, right? If so, that's insane. What makes it so expensive if that's the case? Because, you know, like, game games, you know, most games are just $60, like, in the U.S. Is it just, like... I don't know, trade things that make it expensive? Oh, this is a really good great scientist. We might actually get him. We'll have to pay attention to this. I want to make sure that nobody else buys him. I see, we're, we are probably going to have to spend gold on it. Or faith. The, the ideal would be to use faith, because we have like 600 faith. The power of America. <laughs> I don't know if it's America that makes it more expensive, but... It might just be export issues. Even, like, but, like, if it's, like, digital, though. I see, I don't want to spend all this gold. Five years ago, one dollar was 2.5 TL. Now it's six or seven. Wow. Oh, somebody else just bought him. Well, that's a Ripperonis. <laughs> Guess we should have just bought him. Oh, we got a free frigate. That's right, because we just built another Royal Navy dockyard. Oh, that's actually, like, kind of, like, big. That's that's a pretty good get. A free frigate. Just buy it with a VPN. I don't know. if Does that work? Would that work? In peace. All right, here we go. We got this now, which means we can get 50% gold discount on all our units. Our unit upgrades. So there's one frigate. There's two frigates. We're not going to have enough. I want to upgrade the galley now. Hello there, Chris Lowe. How's it going? There we go. So all of our cities are going to be powered now. Because they're going to get power from all their harbor buildings. I don't want to get political, but it was beef between that guy and Trump. Oh, yeah, doesn't surprise me. <laughs> the Navy. All right, we probably actually can. I think we want to change this to the harbor district adjacency bonuses. That gave us a good bit of extra gold. Um, and we need to get, like, Merchant Republic. I think we're about ready to honestly just declare war on China. Let's, um, let's get everybody together. We might want to get one more frigate. Oh, we're actually not the suzerain of Cardiff yet. We need to be the suzerain of Cardiff. So we have three frigates and two caravels. That's probably, that's definitely enough to at least take this city right here. So I think we should just start and do that. Especially since we have this uh, this guy. Renaissance and industrial era. These count as industrial era units, right? I think they do. Yeah, so they're renaissance. 
Or what I what did I say? I don't know what I said, but they are Renaissance era. <laughs> Hello, Dante Clark. How's it going? Did not start Opium War by attacking Guangdong. Histi historically inaccurate. Unsub. Yep. Might as well unsub. What a schmuck I am, right? <laughs> nice. That's good. It's good that you're doing good. Alright, yeah, I think it's time to just go. Let's declare friendship with these people that we're friendly with, so that way they won't hate us that much. So let's declare a friendship with you. And let's declare a friendship with you. And then now let's go be mean. Let's also land this guy. Alright, get ready. Surprise. Oh, okay. I just declared. <laughs> okay, we gotta re <laughs> we gotta reload this turn because I accidentally just declared friendship with him instead of declaring war on him. So that would mean that we can't declare war for thirty more turns. So as much as I don't like to save scum, that was <laughs> I wasn't thinking there. Unsubbed. Yep. Yeah, that was, that was pretty unsub worthy. From the barrel of I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Classic Saxy moment, I know. Actually, I think I think I just need to restart, restart the whole game. This game's going too bad. The world, once so vast and mysterious, has grown smaller and more familiar. Yet, there are four hundred lira is sixty-five eighty. Oh wait, well if four four hundred lira is six, sixty-five eighty, then that's not that that's not that more expensive than. U.S. prices. Majesty, when should you stop settling new cities? It depends on who you're playing. Your so generally what I like to do on leaders is just go settle all my cities, like that's my first priority, settle them all, and then once I've settled enough and I've decided that, you know, that's enough cities, then I just stop and I never settle anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's about, yeah, that's like 10% more, that's not that bad. Okay, let's make sure we declare friendship with the right people and declare war on the right people. The enemy of your enemy is your friend. Your enemy is also your friend. That would be me. End quote. The Saxy Gamer. All right, this is the guy that we want to... I almost just did it again, actually. Time to but there cannot be enough cities. Yeah, I mean, there are... There are... Yeah, really, really, you can never have too many cities, but... Whatever you're happy with how many cities you have, then that's kind of just like, all right, you can stop. Oh my god, we're going to melt this city. Whew. Look at this. Oh, this guy can't actually hit it. Does this guy have any movement left? No, not yet. Okay, well that went way better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> We're obliterating that city. Unfortunately can't upgrade this guy. We just killed him though. Alright, put our envoy in Cardiff. So you don't have enough space. Yeah, normally that ends up being the limiting factor, is just space. She's probably mad because I've inflicted grievances. Plunder a trade route, get some gold. Alright, this is probably going to be some pretty bad loyalty pressure here. Oh, it's actually not that bad. 18 turns till rebellion? That's like... Okay. We'll move Reyna over here for now. We definitely will keep the city. And then we're going to come over and uh, begin the strike on the capital. Potato makes a lot of mistakes. Yeah. I mean, we all do, really. Just kind of comes with the comes with the territory of playing so It's nice to see you're finally using a navy. That's kind of why I'm playing England today. It's just because I wanted to I wanted to have a navy. Because like whenever you get like this that you end up with frigates before a lot of people have them then you melt. Oh we got mausoleum. That's actually so good. It's good for science victory. It's good for who I'm playing. Alright let's get uh, let's get an industrial zone down. That's another big part of England is getting those industrial zones. Get another city. We are well, we're gonna get access to Halong Bay. Things are looking pretty good. 
Wow, we might actually get a good game as uh, England. Easy access to Venetian Arsenal as well. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good point. I, I placed it so that we can get Venetian Arsenal, right? Yeah, okay, I did. I totally forgot about that, but I'm glad that it worked out. Oh, no. Please, please no military emergency on me. <laughs> okay, it failed. <laughs> no, nobody wants to help out poor China. China's over here, like, dying. And everyone's like, eh, it sucks for you. Alright. I'll take a little bit of a detour to... Smack up this uh, encampment. That way I can just get some unit XP from beating it up. Do, 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 do. Is this deity? This is deity. Venetian Arsenal is the only wonder you always go for. It is a, just a really good wonder. Uh, let's go this for gypsum, because we have a lot of sources of gypsum. Even when I'm not a naval sieve. See, I mean, if I'm not a naval sieve, I don't really bother with it. Oh man, we actually still didn't win any of those. <laughs> well, that's a rip. Rip in the chat, boys. Okay, I think we should be able to get those walls down next turn, probably. I think we still just want to keep going for the whole, you know, naval superiority thing. I think I think that's the play. Oh, we now have the Great Lighthouse as well. I didn't realize. That's actually pretty big, because that gets us more movement on our naval units. Okay, and now we can actually start hitting his capital. I'm surprised. Oh, oh, there we go. There's his crouching tigers. I was just about to say I'm surprised he doesn't have, uh, like, more units. Then right as I say that, he brings out some more units. Okay, we'll move this guy over one time. Oh, we can actually give him a little bit of a buff. Let's just kill the crouching tiger, I guess. That way we don't even have to worry about it. Move our caravel up. They played Baba Yetu during my school mass. That's actually kind of cool. You know, whenever, uh, what's his name, paid $100 for me to play the saxophone, and now I'm going to be playing saxophone cover of Baba Yetu. I cry when Baba Yetu plays that normal. Oh, we'll just uh, just get ready, I'm telling you. It's, it's, uh, it's hopefully going to be good. Alright, um, let's get this guy. Let's just get bombardment on all these guys. got another great admiral, which is nice. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not normal. But that doesn't mean it's not okay, you know? I like how they're trying to stop my frigates, but they're just... They're not doing a very good job of it. Strategy requires the Should be able to get the walls down this turn. I don't think we'll be able to take... You should make Dave or Greg sing Baba Yetu. Oh my god, I should make Greg sing it. Greg, Greg would get into it as well. Oh, did we lose the Colossus here? Did somebody else build it? No, nobody else built it. I wasn't able to construct it in time. That's unfortunate. Nothing being produced? I don't know. Who knows? It's a mystery to me. I accept being not normal just for Baba Yetu. It's worth it, isn't it? And then that guy over there, he's really trying. A crouching tiger. I think the next person we attack is going to have to be Korea. Because Korea is going to get pretty far ahead in science. So if we're able to, like, put a stop to that, then that'd be pretty good for us. Oh, hey, look at that. We got a free capital. Worst wonder, any guess? Um, the Great Bath. <laughs> the Great Bath is not good. Not only is it not good, but it's impossible to build.
Oh, is that a plus five? I'm getting ten gold. It's a plus five harbor. What gives it a plus five? Because two, and then three. I don't get. I don't know how it gets to ten. Truffles. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. After Britain, <laughs> China has to co or after China, Britain has to conquer Southeast Asia. I mean, you're right. It's all just. It's all part of the game plan, you know. Get rid of that guy. Hmm. Who do we get next? Maybe we'll get Connoisseur on Pingala to help our culture a little bit. Have I tried the new world builder? I have not, actually, no. Oh, here we go. Naval units. We can kill some of those. Because I think that's what we get arrow score from with our current uh, dedication. Colonization intensifies. Yeah, just wait, because we're about to get... Uh, some of those policy cards for, uh, for, you know, colonization and stuff. All in classic British fashion. We have another settler still, right? I think we do somewhere. Oh, did we not? I could have sworn that we did. I thought we had one more. Oh, no, we don't. Oh. Okay, I thought we did. I was gonna go put them over here, but we don't really need that land, so I'll just leave it as is. I don't really even know if I want this city down here, because it doesn't really have that much like good stuff in it. But it is just another place, so we might as well just take it, right? When in Rome, as they say. I should have moved this guy in first, because he has the great admiral with him. Does this put China out of the game? No, it actually doesn't, surprisingly. Yeah, sure, we'll keep the city too, why not? Yeah, we should get... Uh, actually, wait, we can get a Royal Navy Dockyard. For some of that sweet, free stuff. I've been denounced by Alexander. Why, Alexander, you love when people are at war with each other. Why are you mad? Why are you mad, bro? Oh, look at this up here. Cities that are right nicely on the coast. Gotta upgrade some more of these guys into frigates. Put our guy over there with them. Fix all the stuff that we broke. Kill this galley. And get ready to go and beat up on Korea. Overextension is just an up. Wait, wrong game, Ansu. We're not overextending. Do I have any Mongol VODs? I do not. Oh my god, all these stupid things that pop up again. So, where is Korea? Korea's far away. Let's see if this guy wants to make peace. He wants me to uh, give him five gold. No, I'm gonna say I'm gonna have to say no to that one, Chief. All right. So these guys, we should go position them. It's gonna take them 11 turns to get out there. Como estas? Ah, bien. You know, I took Spanish in high school. <laughs> I, I I know my way around some mediocre Spanish. So this guy we can upgrade. I don't think we have enough niter for this guy. Nope, we don't. Um, yeah, let's put the industrial zone there, so that way we can um, just have it. I don't really know why I put it there, but but for the sake of having it there, we'll put it there. Twenty-four turns to get over there. Whew. So these guys are not really close, are they? Right, these guys only take twelve. That's not bad. How about French? No, I, I've, I've never spoken French. Oh, Alexander just declared war on me. Well, that's bad. Ooh. I see he's got some boys up here. Which is actually pretty bad. The day we 
stop exploring? Okay, well, we got a new government type, so that's pretty good. Which means we're going to be allowed to get some more units. Put that in there. We should get bastions right now just because we have to defend ourselves, like, real fast. <laughs> Uh, too bad I don't have walls. We can five turns for walls. Let's see what we can do here. And luckily our frigates are here, so. Do I like that Civ 5 skin? I've not used the Civ 5 skin yet. It looks interesting though, so. Put this guy in the capital there. Well, the old capital. So that way he's there. We should probably put the aqueduct here, so that way it's not eventually going to flood. And I think this guy will keep down here for defense purposes. I guess we could go take, like, Alexander's stuff now as well. Okay, well, a lot of things happening. We might have to de uh, delay our attack on <laughs> Korea in order to make sure that we don't get killed. I mean, I really don't think it's going to be that much of a problem, but you always just got to be careful. Well, the nice thing is these combats are going to get us into a uh, golden age in the next year. Oh, our ships are taking some attacks. I think we'll, we'll just be able to obliterate that guy now. Women lying in ponds, distributing swords is no basic. Well, maybe not obliterate him, but oh, he's just barely alive. Oh, yeah, we we, we got to finish him off. I don't want to let him run around free. Man, we have so we have a few great admirals. Is this guy's bonus. One promotion level, that's actually not bad. Especially since we can use them twice. Is the USA the best air warfare in Civ 6? I don't think anybody else has unique air units in this game, do they? Does, uh, Japan doesn't still get the zero, right? I think that was only in Civ 5. So yeah, probably. Hardest way to win is culture. No, I, 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 like, I, think, I think cultural is actually pretty fun. Is it hard? I mean, cultural can be hard if you don't, if you're not like the most experienced. But I think cultural is the most fun way to play. Oh, we got another free frigate. And I guess we'll, we'll send him over on the, uh, the Korea trip. Man, Alexander is failing this pretty hard. And Samus is now not happy with me. We used to be friends with him. destruction of our earth is not just affecting you, it's affecting your neighbors. Do I have? I don't have any pollution, do I? No. What's she talking about? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I thought. They only have the samurai in Civ 6. So, yeah. I don't, like, anybody else, like, nobody else really gets any bonuses towards air combat, so, yeah. I guess that kind of automatically makes the U.S. the best. Hmm. <laughs> Should get a campus. Guess I'll place it up here. <laughs> well, there's more troops he's trying to send over. You heard it here, folks. U.S. is the best. Of course! Oh, here we go with more military emergencies. Trying to stop me from being... from being Victoria. That's all I'm trying to do. It failed as well. Good to hear. Oops. And we'll get that guy some, uh... some bonuses against naval units.
trying to just make sure that like none of these units even live. Do I think religion is the hardest victory? I don't know if it's the hardest victory type, but I think it's the least fun. Actually, I don't know. I, I think diplomacy is the least fun now. I think I think it's taking the cake. So we should move Reyna down here, so that way the city doesn't rebel. Reyna, where are you at? Get over there. Let's kill this random Hypaspis. Hypas Hypaspis. That's all, it's such a hard word for me to say. <laughs> Hmm, do we take Alexander's stuff while we're here? I feel compelled to say yes. Because, like, why would we not, really? Uh, let's get some more traders. We only have... We have eight trade route slots and only one trade route going right now. Happened in the Nubia game last week? I don't know, I just didn't continue playing it, really. <laughs> As I tend to do on streams. What map is this? This is Island Plates. One of the probably lesser played map types. Oh, we gotta beat up Korea so bad. I think we just, we need to start sending these frigates over. Um, this caravel as well. We don't really need more caravels over there, so I'll keep him still around here. And I want to keep at least, like, one or two frigates over here. But everybody else can go. I love island plates, and I will fight anyone who doesn't. Yeah, I, honestly, I think island plates is one of the more fun map types. I think we'll keep these two guys over here. And maybe maybe this guy as well. Everybody else will go and plan out the attack on Korea. Try doing that on Pangaea. Yeah, you can't really you can't really play uh, naval victories on, on Pangaea, can you? Alright, we don't really need bastions anymore either. What are we gonna get though? Is it possibly, possible to do a video on combat? Because not one person has done it yet. Yeah, I was actually planning that like a long time ago. But combat in this game is very, very complex. But I still probably could do it. Yeah, because like, I, I don't believe anybody has done a video on that. Uh, maybe we just go Colonial Offices. We need to get to the uh, the one thing. I never remember what it's called. We just need to get to colonialism. I mean, come on, we're playing. We're playing England. It's the only logical choice. Let's get Liang over here. And this guy we can send to the Korean shores. It's going to take a while for most of these guys to get here, though. Okay, we'll bring this guy back into our territory. I just don't want any of these guys to get... Um, Swarmed by enemy caravels or anything like that. Oh, that's a city state unit. Wait, what? Why is that red? Because that shows us it's like a city state unit. But it's a high pacifist, which is like Greece's unique unit. Man, we really actually need... If we had open borders with this guy, that would be nice. He doesn't really... He's, he's not really interested, is he? Okay, well, I guess this guy's not going to go around the world to go to Greece then. Or to go to Korea. Hmm. Okay, he's getting swarmed by Carols. Got to get our man out of there. Okay, upgrade these guys. This guy's gotta run. He's probably just dead. Unfortunately, we gotta like send some some parties up there to help him try to live. Oh, some shipyards. Shipyards are gonna get us a lot of production this game since we have good harbor adjacency bonuses. <laughs> okay, suddenly Mansa Moose is like, I will show you my. Oh, yep, they got him. 
Well, now I guess we're gonna go get them. What admiral is that? Um, this guy? I forget. Oh, 50% flanking bonus for all naval units. We might actually, like, use him. Because that actually doesn't sound bad. Hopefully, oh, who's this guy? Zhang He. Oh, he's the one that just, uh, almost died. Yeah, so, like, the, the admirals don't actually die. They go back to, like, your city. To the nearest city. Ooh, that guy got a little bit low, but he's gonna be okay. <laughs> I like this little city that they have. The one-tile island city. Okay, we can get that guy extra combat strength against naval units. Now we can just rip into these guys. I'm gonna back this guy off a little bit. Hopefully none of those guys die. They actually still could. I think that no great people can die unless you manually delete them. Yeah, that's correct. At least to my knowledge, that's correct. Alright, let's sort by gold here. Um, yeah, we should actually just go to Zanzibar, because it's right there. Once you know what unit type it is, it's a lot easier to understand. Yeah, because, yeah, it's it's not just like... Yeah, it, re like, it, it, it really is like a rock, paper, scissors thing. Because certain unit types do better against certain, like, other certain unit types. Which is something that I, I think a lot of people don't know, it's if, that that's even like a thing that exists. Oh, the Venetian Arsenal. Let's get that place down. And let's get those shipyards. Do we have a shipyard in here already? No, we don't even have a lighthouse yet. Okay, our adjacency over here isn't that good anyways, so it's not that impactful. None of these are actually really that good, are they? That one's pretty decent, plus eight. We should definitely build that. All right, this guy still just can head over to Korea. Oh, wow, okay. Got a wrist slap from this frigate over here. Luckily, they, they, they can't really take the city. It's okay, we're gonna wrist slap him right back anyways. Gotta try to make sure that this guy dies, which he did. This guy can get an upgrade, so we'll get him combat strength against uh, naval units. Korea's boring, I totally agree. I don't think Korea's fun. Like, Korea's like too easy. I think that frigate's just gonna die, because we're just gonna blow him up here. <laughs> we're gonna get industrialization as well, which is, like, kind of big. I think the human race. We can actually probably get ironclad soon. Actually, yeah, very soon, actually. Guy needs to heal up. I saw that there was a traitor over here, which we're gonna go and pillage. Where was the great admiral that gave the flanking bonus? Was it you? Yeah, let's use him once. Because we, we'll be able to use him twice, actually. Which means we'll get double flanking bonus on all of our naval units, which is pretty insane. That's a lot of extra combat strength. Now, oh, these guys need to go to Korea as well. See, the nice thing is, since Korea has a lot of campuses, when we take them over, that means we're going to have a lot of campuses. Only nine turns to get there? That's pretty... that's pretty okay. So this over here is like our defensive fleet. Boom, boom, boom. Melee, anti-cav, anti-cav to cav, cav to melee, is that right? 
Um, I believe it is. You say Cav gets Cav kills range? I don't think it does. I I I had thought that cavalry does get the bonus against melee, but I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I've actually looked at it. This guy, I mean, we might as well use him once, right? Because we can get one envoy free. Yeah, let's put more envoys into um, Atusa. Nice thing is, it, it would appear as though we do have coal. So, coal is pretty important, obviously. To power our ironclads. Gotta go. Gotta get some fresh air and a good walk. Good luck on World Conquest. Oh, thank you very much. And enjoy your walk. Okay, well, nobody in the world really likes us anymore, which is kind of, like, unfortunate. Okay. Thankfully, us and Germany are still friends. Hopefully, us and Rome can still be friends as well. Okay, he doesn't want to, which means he's probably eventually going to hate me. I think in this city we're just going to purchase the shipyard. Because that's a big production boost. Like, 8 production. That's pretty good. We might actually just purchase one over here as well. Because that's 12 production, which is, like, insane. And that boosts our progress towards steam power. Which gets us that much closer towards our ironclads. Do, 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 do. We're going to have this guy rebase in Sheffield and we'll send him to Germany. I believe it's melee to anti-cav to cav. Yeah, that's that That one is definitely correct. Melee definitely gets bonus against anti-cav and anti-cav obviously gets bonus against cav. Um, I don't remember who cav gets the bonuses against. We're going to go into heroic age, or not heroic, we're going to go into golden age as well. We can go to Hamburg. 22 gold. That's pretty. That's a pretty strong trade route. Put down some lumber mills for that additional production. I might purchase a factory over here as well. Because since we are powered... Uh, man, that's that's the really nice thing about Cardiff. That's why Cardiff is actually like pretty strong. Cav gets bonus against melee? Yeah, that's what I thought. Does anybody get bonuses against ranged? Or is ranged just kind of its own thing? The four characteristics of humanism. Factory is expensive, but... Are we not the suzerain of Cardiff? We are the suzerain of Cardiff still, right? Yeah. So, Heartbeat of Steam is really good. Two Arms is also really good, though. I think we do want to get Heartbeat of Steam, though. Just because of how we're, how we're playing here. Boom, 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 Just get that guy away. And here we go. We're about to hit ironclads. The problem is we can't really upgrade these guys up here. I forget. Can you upgrade in, like, allies' territory? Because if we can, then we can upgrade over here. Science. Oh. We could just upgrade in Germany's territory. Let's see. Let's find out if that's allowed. So we still have... I guess we can move this guy back. Oh, there we go. Rome is friendly now. Okay. Rome still does want to be friends. We'll make a military alliance with Rome. We can get to electricity already? Are we... A, we're not that ahead in science. No, we're really not. Oh, we gotta get... It's a lot of decks to get to, like, destroyers now, though. Oh, we got a free ironclad down here. Send them up there. Continue to improve these tiles. London's not power? Does Cardiff only work for coastal cities? No? Oh, it's because we don't actually have any harbor buildings, do we? Good night to all. Good night, Razad. Oh, we have another source of coal down there. We probably want to improve that. Alright. Well, let's just buy a lighthouse then. That way we get that factory powered.
How much coal do we have per turn? We're getting plus four per turn already, which actually is pretty good. Oh, and yes, we can indeed upgrade over there. <laughs> Why do they make England have no culture abilities? but then give them Eleanor. Yeah, that's what I don't know. I don't know why they, like... I mean, I get why they took away the British Museum. It's just because it, it's, like, it's similar to what um, Sweden does. But, like, they could have at least just changed it and let her keep it, because then that way, you know, she still would have a point for Eleanor. Like, there would be at least some purpose to that, but instead they decided against that for some unknown reason. Oh, this guy needs house. Oh, this guy actually needs an aqueduct really bad. <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, man, that city is pretty weak, but it's because it didn't have an aqueduct. <laughs> Everybody's going to beat up on this poor caravel now. Yep, that's the end of that caravel. And we'll capture all of Korea's coastal cities. We probably won't be able to get any more than that. They're also building They're building the Panama Canal. Or do they already have it? No, it doesn't look like they already have it. I think next turn will actually be okay to declare war on Korea since we do have ironclads. That's actually like a pretty... That's a pretty big power like boost. Go away, naval units. Did I just pronounce your name correctly? Nobody does it? Really? See, like, I don't I don't even think that your name is, like, particularly hard to pronounce. I'm worried about loyalty over here. What age is Korea in? They are in a heroic age. That's a little bit spooky. I think what we're going to have to do... Oh, there's a hurricane over there. Man is a military... What we're going to have to do with Korea here is take multiple cities at once. Alright, let's see if Rome will do a joint war on Korea. He doesn't want to do it. Okay. Let's see if we can make peace with Alexander. Okay, he doesn't want to do that. Okay, well, Korea, surprise. Surprise, it's war. Surprise war. How well will we be able to take their cities, though, is the question. Okay, it is going to take a little bit. Nowhere near as fast as what we had, uh... Oh, well, that one died pretty fast. Okay, you know, I say it's not really that fast, but really it is still pretty fast. <laughs> I am worried about the loyalty issue, though. It is... I can tell it's going to be a problem. Something else has just declared war. Hattusa has. That's bad. Because we generally do like Hattusa. Whew, look at that. The Curacer armies. These guys are pretty strong. Okay, well there are no ranged units over there, which means... We don't have to worry about our ships getting attacked. So what we have to do instead is just start coming over here to um, to prepare to whittle down this city as well. Will I do a Molly video anytime soon? Yep, that'll probably come out on Monday. At least that's the plan. Guess we might as well at least prepare our holy site over here. We got another free ironclad, so let's send it to Korea. It's going to take a while for it to get there, but it'll at least be there someday. Will I update my tier list after all those buffs and nerfs? Yep, that's that's the plan. So after the Molly video, then I'll, I'll, I'll do one video that updates the tier list, and then I'll do a bunch of videos on what civs, you know, I think are the best civs in the game in each of like, the respective categories, and, you know, that, that whole spiel. <laughs> okay, it unfortunately doesn't look like we're going to be able to just 
mass take any one of these cities. I mean, we can take this one right now. Like, for certain. Valley to me. But I'm sure loyalty is probably about... Uh, it's actually not that bad, necessarily. Negative 16.5, like, that's... It's not terrible. We have 11 turns. So that gives us, like, 11 turns. We'll probably target this city next. Or actually, I don't know, though. Because the other one has walls. That one doesn't. Let's make sure we build walls over there. Been waiting for an update on the tier list. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, for the best victories. Yep, yeah, so I, I definitely think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I don't know how well this is going to work over here. This might actually not go that well. Because that those are some spooky units that she's going to have trying to take this city back from us. Oh. Watcha. The Watcher are actually really strong. We gotta watch out for those. Actually, I don't think they're like really strong, but they are definitely still strong. Okay, now we just need to move everybody over here. And just quickly start attacking this city. Do we have... Okay, there's the other. We can get this guy over here as well. And the Molly are just being a pain with all those units they have that are just chilling. <laughs> Blocking us from putting our units there. Nah, we can't give... Just do a let's play with Tamar. I should not. Oh my god, so many things are happening. Hmm. <laughs> See, the tough part is actually probably going to be defending ourselves after we take these cities. From the troops that she's going to bring in to, like, try to kill us then. Okay, well, that's two. Worst comes to worst, we always could just, you know, raise everything and call it a day. We can take this one as well over here. Then we might be okay, actually. Like, loyalty-wise, at least. And if not, we'll take them all again, and then we'll just raise them. <laughs> Civ 6 Tamar Settler difficulty. I mean, I could do a Settler playthrough. I don't know why I would, but I could. Put this guy all the way down there. Bing, bing, bing. On deity, of course. No, like, I would, I would lose probably so bad if I tried to play tomorrow on deity. Oh my God! Look at all these sh ships the Molly have. Oh well, that city's gonna get taken back. All right, yeah, I think we're just gonna raise these then. So we're going to go attack that one again. Because really I'm just trying to weaken Korea. So that way they're not so insane. Because the problem is they're already like so strong that it's going to be very nearly impossible to fight them. And I don't want to lose too many naval units trying to fight them. Oh my god. Yeah, we'd lose a lot of health if we tried to attack that guy. Aw, oh, man, I guess we gotta just beat up on all the weaker people. Like the Molly. <laughs> I mean, really, though, we could probably take a lot of that. Bing, 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 bing. Wow, a lot of these guys took some serious damage there. Let's 
gonna start pillaging things now as well. Because I really just want to make sure that they lose at least something out of this war. I walked a few blocks and stopped at a park. And that anarchist lake still isn't is still... Wait. Tile still isn't yours. Wait, which anarchist lake? Oh, that one right there, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's somehow evading us. Alright, I feel like we're actually, like, decently strong now. In general. Too bad Auckland wasn't in this game. If Auckland was here, this would that would be like glorious. Okay, she's moved some of her troops out in a very stupid move, because now we can just do this. Ah, uh, did we try to keep it, though? That was my chair moving. That was a really weird sound. <laughs> We're at negative 8.5 over there, so I don't think we do. I think we just raise it. Especially since it only has two pop. Okay, well, there we go. It's out of there. Because that's like the point now, is to just inflict as much damage as I possibly can. It's what the point has become. Oh look, a free builder. Oh man, this poor, uh, this poor guy right here is about to get... ...schwacked. Schwacked by my defensive navy. Raising other civs cities is a major bad reaction from the other civs. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they, they definitely won't be happy with me, but <laughs> maybe the Molly will swoop in and settle the city right there. Alright, let's get these guys over here in preparation to take this city when it rebels. I wish that there was like a type of... Maybe this is one thing that they could do for improving the loyalty system. I wish that there was like a type of um, peace declaration that you could do that would make the opponent's cities not declare... Or not exert loyalty pressure on, on the cities that you have. Because, like, I think that would be a good way to make it a little less frustrating and stuff. Oh, look, we met we met a brand new city-state. This late in the game. Oh, well, that's, that's an easy target right there. We're just going to be the harassing... <laughs> harassing opponent. Honestly, we're going to see how many of these things we can raise, because if we can raise, like, a lot, then then a lot we shall raise. <laughs> it's, it's impossible to kill those units. You need to put whales in next. Yeah, like the country of whales. I think that'd be actually kind of cool. We got back to the ship of Hattusa. I'm just looking around to see what she's all got over here. She actually does have quite a bit. She has a lot of cities, it looks like. Alright, so we're about to get the rebellion here. I think Hattusa just probably declared war on us again. I guess it is going to take 10 turns for that to even get back to her. So we might as well go attack somebody else instead. We'll go attack this city next. While we wait. <laughs> I like how I'm just like nabbing. I'm nabbing the builders and then I'm just like walking away. We still need to take Vilnius too. I forgot about that. We planned on doing that, but then we kind of never did. 12 gold return for peace. No, no, no. Yeah, let's see how much damage we can do to this guy. <laughs> no, I'm not going to declare war on you, Molly. Hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, we do have to be careful. I don't want to lose that one frigate that's like low on HP. So we have to be a little careful with him, especially. Okay, I was gonna say, I could have sworn that we had another ironclad, and we do. He was just a little way over there. Jump on. Jump on. We're gonna explore with our builder. I once raised all but one of Norway cities, and then the grievance is skyrocket. Yeah, it, it does make a lot of grievances. Ooh. Okay, well, this guy, I think he gets a promotion, though, so I think it's okay. Ah, oh, no, they put that AT crew core in there. <laughs> That's gonna mean that we do, like, no damage now. Minus four. Under the oh, look, Cliffs of Dover. I mean, at least we're... We're getting a nice view of all of Korea's territory now. I wish you started your gaming store a few months sooner. It would have saved you twenty dollars. Oh, yeah. I mean, like it's it, it's it's been a work in progress for a good while, which is really why it didn't start sooner. Because I think I we've been working on it for. I we started working on it like right after Gathering Storm launched, I think, or somewhere somewhere around that general time frame. We can build some sea dogs. We should get another builder down here. I, I might just buy one. What's well, 300 gold, am I right? <laughs> we can go pillage some of these. Mid Oh, look, she's getting nervous. You can tell. So we're actually the starting to... We're actually doing some decent damage now, I think. Like, I still... I wish that we had more troops over here, but... You know. Gotta make do with what you have, I guess. Um... Oh, we can get another factory. Let's do that. How big is this map and how many civilizations are on it? This is standard, so there should be eight civs. Standard map size and island plates. We are still planning on going for the science victory, but we're like, not that. We're not doing all that well in science. Actually, we're not doing bad. Look at, how is Jai of Armin so far? <laughs> Korea's already at like, she probably has already honestly started her space victory. No, she hasn't. Okay. That actually surprises me. The Commonwealth of Venice in <sighs> there the we army. go. We get the Venetian arsenal. Which means now we get some insane ships. Oh, can we finish the walls this turn? Guy has 35 HP. I don't think he's been taking 35 damage every turn. What did she just buy? I think she bought like another Muskman or something. Did I see Potatoes in Russia No Theater District playthrough? I, I didn't watch it, no, but I, I had seen that he was doing it. So. Alright. I think we I don't think we need that anymore. I think we just want colonial taxes now. So I think that'll be helpful to quite a few of our cities. And there we go, just like that. The walls are down. How many turns until that rebels? Five. Alright, and then we'll go attack it again and then we'll take it and raise it. Burn it to the ground. Keep trying to get Suzer and Chip of Hatusa. <laughs> Oh, look, the Molly are going to go settle right over there. Right where that goody hut is. Science is England is odd. Yeah, I don't really know what England does now, though. Like, I guess you can say that they do, like, domination. I guess. 
They, I don't know, they still just don't feel like a good sieve. Do, 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 do. Why are potatoes not a bonus resource like wheat and... Uh, I don't, potatoes aren't even in this game, are they? Oh, oh, you mean like, why are they... Uh, maybe you mean, why are they not in the game? I, you see, I don't know, yeah, because they have been like a really important thing throughout like a lot of history. But I don't know, maybe maybe the Civ devs. They're, maybe, maybe they're not potato fans. <laughs> they're gonna go settle up there, right right up there with a the cod. Love the anarchist lake tile. Yeah, it still doesn't. It still doesn't want to be mine up there. Right. <laughs> it's totally surrounded now. Okay. The nice thing is we are just. I mean, we're probably generating so much war weariness, but like we're just farming unit XP right now. Dunga -dunga. Blatant discrimination against Potato and his family. Yeah, I know. Poor, poor Potato and Whiskey. The Civ devs, they don't want to add him to the game. I've heard that you are the saxiest of all gamers. Um, well, that might be true. Depends who's asking. My god, Korea and Khmer. I'm surprised that the Khmer are a science Civ in this game. Like, what the heck? It's the Khmer. That is a man who always remembers. When you raise the cities, the grievances drop at a lower rate than the regular takeover city. Do they really? Yeah, I guess people probably don't like, you know, the killing of a civilization. Oh, somebody's beating that up. I wonder if it is. It's probably Korea. Watch, it's probably the Molly. I guess we'll find out, because it looks like it's going to get taken. Too bad we don't have an ironclad just waiting over there to go snag it. Here, look, I, I actually might... Ah, it's going to rebel in one turn. Oh, it actually it might, it might be the Molly. The Molly... Or actually, I don't think they have a naval unit or a melee unit there to take it. They almost could, like, snag that city. Ah, too bad it's gonna rebel this turn. If we were actually paying attention, we, we could have stolen it. Oh, it's really low on HP, though. Well, that was easy. Oh, no! <laughs> I didn't put him in there! Okay, well that's a lost ironclad now. He's stuck. He's he's never coming back. He's lost forever. Yeah, we should probably use this Great Admiral choice. Because that one will get 50% reduction on all war weariness. Which is probably a good idea. Because we are kind of being rude. Pretty rude, actually. I can't believe it <laughs> shoved him over there. Because <laughs> now he's just going to die. He has no way to get out of there. Oh, we built a sea dog. I guess we probably built two sea dogs, actually. Alright, next turn I think we'll be able to take that city. Ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Operations Panama to save the Ironclad. Yeah, we should build the Panama Canal just just so that way we can save the Ironclad up there. <laughs> and yeah, there's our two sea dogs, our first two sea dogs. Let's build. Let's build some more frigates. Eight turns for frigates. That's actually like pretty good. Should probably get another campus. Evening, Saxy. I was going. Oh, thank you, Adrian. It's going pretty well. We're actually having a successful game as these people. Whatever her name is. Victoria. So that's like, you know, that's a pretty rare occurrence. Except for our ironclad that somehow ended up stuck over there. But.
Let's see how our city status is doing. I'm sure we probably have like... Yeah, we have a good amount of war awareness. Um, 41 gold per turn. Nah, still not worth. <laughs> yeah, the Ironclad survived all these battles and then Civ mechanics are the thing that kill them. Like, broken mechanics. The poor guy. He's just trying to live, man. What's the negative loyalty like over here? Negative 30? Yeah, that's even worse than the last one. Alright, get him out of there. Alright, let's just purchase the, uh, the shipyard over here. And let's get a granary too, I guess. From F to S, how good is Molly's music? I don't really like Molly's music, so I'd, I'd probably put it at like, I don't know, maybe C or D. I haven't really listened to it that much though, so like, I don't know all that well. But I, I've not really been like a huge fan of it. Uh oh, they have ironclads. They're fighting back. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. <laughs> I was say, what will happen if we all collectively beat up on that guy? We can indeed kill him. Okay, that's actually good. Oh, we don't have enough power over here. I mean, we even have a shipyard. Rot raw. I don't, I don't, I'm trying to avoid building coal power plants. Yeah, what the heck, because I don't want to flood too much, like, I'm sure other people are probably. Yeah, Korea's already pumping out the CO2. What, how's this graph working? <laughs> there are two reds. One of them is me, I guess the other one must be Korea. Do I play Civ 6 a lot off camera? Um, not that much anymore, actually. I, I used to, but... I don't know. Just my, my general amount of time spent gaming has gone down a lot. Oh, look, they're already building spaceports. See, I somehow don't think we're going to be able to win this game. We're trying our best. But man, it's just a little difficult. I'm actually going to go for Great Engineer for that. And we'll go um, Trade. <laughs> Alright, well, we won both of those. Actually, no, we didn't, because we voted for Engineer and the other one won. We have the most Great Engineer points. Who have been recruited? Have there, have there been any Great Engineers recruited yet? Doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah, there have been a few. Yeah, I know. Just <laughs> Korea is so broken on deity. Oh man, and we have to go all the way around to get up there. All right, maybe now we'll make peace with Korea. Give me your gold. 103 gold per turn. How do different difficulty levels work? Like from um, for the settler differ from deity. Uh, I actually do have an in-depth video on difficulty, so you can check that out. Long story short, it just alters the bonuses that it gives the AI for free. Like, the, the AI is equally stupid in all difficulty levels. <laughs> but it just changes which, like, what free yield bonuses they do. Or they get. Jump Jump, um, am I out of classes for the summer? Do I take summer courses? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out for the summer. Um, I have an internship right now, though, so I'm working like a proper old person. Like a proper adult. <laughs> Alright, yeah, long story short, I think the Victoria still isn't good.
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They they also do, do get different um like starting units. Jump boom 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 boom. Jump boom 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 boom. Okay. Yeah, I th I think we're done with the uh the warmongering for right now at least. Korea is actually not even that unhappy with us. Yeah, Mansa Musa, he's not happy. We're also still at war with Alexander. We've been at war with Alexander for a long time. We need power plants, or and we yeah we do need power plants. But we also need universities and stuff. Um, let's just get a monument. Our 58 culture is pretty weak. He wants our gypsum. Yeah, it's a pretty low price, but like, it's okay. Industrial era ends in 10 turns, and we are not gonna, we're probably gonna end up in a Dark Age. <laughs> a question probably get asked a lot, what's your favorite Civ? Yep. It's one I get asked a lot and one that I never know the answer to, honestly. Cause like, I, I really don't know who my favorite Civ is. I like a lot of them. And the answer I give a lot is just that like, I like the ones that play with like, district adjacency bonuses. So like, Germany or Japan or Wilhelmina, where like, you can, you get more um, adjacency bonuses for doing certain things on your districts. Like, I think that stuff's fun. Maybe we'll just go take Alexander's stuff. Norway is his favorite. Top three favorites. Um, probably like Nubia, Wilhelmina, and Germany. <laughs> I love Germany. Chad always makes fun of me because I play Germany like a million times. They're like my go-to whenever I restart for 10 years and then decide that I'm just terrible at the game. Hmm. 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 Nubia's pay to win. Yeah, Nubia is just easy mode. Jump out. See, one thing I kind of want to do right now is start a new game as the Molly. Like, there's not really anything wrong with this game, but I just kind of want to start a new game as Molly because I need to, uh. I gotta make the leader spotlight for the Molly, and I haven't played them in a while. <laughs> so, would. Would you guys be cool if, if, if we start a new game as Molly? I'll save this one. Honestly, I might keep going with this one. Because this game's going pretty alright, but like... <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, Molly's dope. Alright, yeah. I'll make sure I save this one, and then we'll we'll start a new one as Molly. Save our Vicky. Exit to the main menu. Playing a domination game as Molly. All the gold return you get to spam units is really good. See, I'm not sure what I think about Molly domination. Let me look at their abilities again. So, city center gain plus one faith, plus one food for every adjacent desert and desert hills tile. Mines receive minus one production, plus four gold. A purchase commercial hub face. Okay. Interesting. Ten bucks says he's gonna have to re-roll his molly. Yeah, I probably will have to re-roll his molly. I can almost guarantee. Make a map that's only desert and play as molly. I think we're just gonna leave everything on standard. What victory type do you go for on Molly? I mean, you can go for religion, but like, I don't know. Like, I feel as though science is okay on Molly. Their combo of being able to buy districts closer to mid is insane. Oh, thank you very much, Kevin, for the uh, the five dollar donation. Combo of being able to buy districts closer to mid game is insane. Yeah, I can see that, but like. Yeah, what victory type do you go for on them? Do you go science? 
I feel, I don't know though. I, I mean, religion is a good one, but I hate religious victory. Desert folklore is really strong in my life. Yeah, they, they are one of those religion sieves. Wait, we should we should put the uh, the world, what is it the temperature on hot? We get more more desert. Religion's pretty easy. Domination. You see, I don't really want to go domination because we just played domination. <laughs> Kevin, for five dollars you can become a member and found the Roomba army. You know, man's got a point. <laughs> you really like advertising the Roomba army. Go religion. Yeah, what the heck. Maybe I'll go like a weird science religion. From the first oh, that is true. Yeah, the religious belief that allows you to buy science and theater score buildings with faith on Molly. That's probably pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna grab water before or while this is loading. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Mansa Musa, great king of Mali, you are blessed with wealth beyond comprehension, yet you remain uncorrupted. Raise your eyes from the marketplace to the heavens, and satisfy your heart's great yearning for peace. Protect the prosperity of your people, and history will write your name in golden letters. All right, I'm back. He'll be restarting for 30 more minutes. Oh, well, if we keep getting spawns like this, yeah. Jeez, this is terrible. <laughs> There's one. Molly can do anything, but by mid-game, you can outright just buy about anything. City-states that let you buy um, with faith are amazing. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, that is true. From the first stirrings of life beneath water... The great beasts of the stone age. Pass <coughs> oh man, I'm man dying now. <laughs> his first steps. Oh, I took a drink and I died. Yeah, everybody. Uh, oh wait, no, you have to you have to spam your uh, Christinas for every reroll we do. So everybody that's a member, put put one Christina in the chat. The past couple of minutes, uh, I was playing another game while listening. So when you started to talk about Molly, I thought you were saying Molly, <laughs> like like M O L L Y, like the drug. No, we are we are not drug addicts here. And satisfy your heart you need the early desert tiles. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I uh, want the early desert tiles, but I want to start in them, not next to them. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, there's, there's, there's one, one Christina. And if you want to become someone that gets the Christina emotes, become a channel member. Oh, this one's actually pretty good. I might move up here. Turn to settle. Oh, yeah, this looks pretty strong though. But yeah, if you want to get the, your very own Christina emotes, become a channel member by clicking the join button below. Or if you're on mobile, there's a link in the description. Why not culture victory? I guess you could do culture victory on Molly, couldn't you? Especially since we have all these, like, coastal tiles. All I can do is Christina. Rip. Oh, man, you see, this is the thing about Molly, though. Starting out, 23 turns for a builder. Oof. Okay, well, that's not good. We have a ton of... We're going to get so much food and faith, though. Alright, we need astrology because we need to get our religion. There's a barb camp down here already. Yeah, the six faith per turn already is, like, pretty... That's pretty strong. Well, that was a very easy barb camp take. Get the Christina's vote and a personal Roomba unit for only five dollars. Yeah, um, for every for every membership that we get as well, you are you're helping fund my um, my invention towards inventing a uh, Roomba lawnmower. Okay, well we just got desert folklore like super easy, so that was pretty strong. So, do consider it. Oh, watch watch this guy kill my warrior. <laughs> I would have laughed. I would have been kind of sad though. 
What do you think about winning Culture Victory with Rock Bands only? I think it's very possible. Because I think the Rock Bands actually are, like, seriously pretty strong. Oh, we've got a boost towards sailing. Yeah, that's real, real helpful. I always forget about the Suguba Major Adjacency with Holy Sights. I do as well, actually. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get that. Ever think of working for a radio station? You'd be good at that adverts and stuff. I mean, I, I've I've not really like thought about it, thought about it, but like I've kind of thought about it just because people tell me that all the time. <laughs> oh, look at this! This is like Petra Land over here. But yeah, I mean, if 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 I wasn't gonna be an engineer, that's probably what I'd do. I'd I'd, I'd do stuff with radio. Because why not, right? Wow. This is pretty good desert land. So where do we settle? One, two, three, four, five. We could settle there, but like that's a way better spot. Plop one down right there. I have the face for radio. Yeah, I know, right? One, two, three, four. We could probably do another one up here. All right, now this guy's healed up enough that we can go and look around. I've got a Casey something voice for sure. I don't know what that means, but thank you. <laughs> Hopefully that's a good thing. Maybe we go like one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. Maybe we settle somewhere up there. Well, he's more of a, a religious sieve. Yeah, I, I think they are. Oh, that's right. We actually, we don't want to build a settler yet. We want to get our holy site down. So we'll probably go... What do you think? Holy site there, and then like, um, Suguba there. I think that's the play. If delicate art we also found delicate art, so that's like, nice. Supply. Too bad we didn't find that before we finished astrology. Alright, we have to be meeting someone soon. When you find yourself in there's no way that there's like, nobody this close to us. Alright, there's somebody up there. Looks like it looks like our pals Germany. I'm pretty sure that's who that is. Nope, it's Japan. Alright, Japan's pretty okay. Make sure we send them a delegation. Friendship? Nope. Do 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 do. Junch, 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 junch. Oh, there's a tornado moving through the desert. No Friedrich. Friedrich. <laughs> I know. Poor, poor Frederick. Oh, this guy actually might be dead. I'll try to make him live. Kumasi? That's okay, I guess. He'll go all edgy on me real soon. He probably will, though. Alright, I'm just trying to get this guy to run. How are we doing on great profits? Somebody has points. That's okay. Vilnius as well. Kumasi's is okay. Yeah, Kumasi actually has a pretty good. Oh, we actually should. We, we should befriend Kumasi. That we could get some mad culture and gold. Yeah, so maybe maybe we'll go culture victory Molly today. I think I think that's gonna be our play. And it looks like we do have decent space over here for expansion. Thankfully. And plenty of flat coastline for seaside resorts in the future. We boosted our knowledge. Auckland as well, that's like good if we're gonna settle coastal cities. Finished our holy site, our nice plus six holy site. A little bit insane. Okay, I think we just have to run holy site prayers. A few a few rounds of those. Oh look, that barb warrior's back. Let's get on the hill just so that way we have a combat strength advantage. And now we shall fight him. 
Just came here, Sax. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. Jonata Sauce for the membership. Feel free to, um, everybody that's a member in here, spam those Christinas in the chat for Jonatas. <laughs> Thanks for hopping on in. Our, our Roomba army grows, it does. And if you're interested in, in joining the, uh, the members-only Discord, um, if you're already in our Discord channel, uh, just send me a message on Discord and I will add you into it. If you're not in our Discord yet, then, uh, you can find the link to join it in any one of, uh, the, my videos, so. But thank you very much. It is much appreciated. There are a lot of people getting these uh, great profit points, it looks like. Oh, more desert over there, okay. Hmm, looks like we have... This is some pretty, actually, decent desert territory over here for us. I think we just need to run more Holy Sight Prayers. Because that got us, like, got us quite a few. How much is it to buy a shrine? 280. Which we're not really that close. Watch this. If we didn't get a religion this game, I'd be so sad. Because we have, like, everything set up to just be, like, perfect for it. Like, this is, like, set up to be, like, a really strong Molly game. Let's see if we can focus production. Okay, yeah, that does lower our turn count. Somebody has six great profit points? Jeez. How do they get six great profit points? It must be, it has to be Russia, right? Like, there's no way it's anybody other than Russia. So in every nation lives by exchanging. Okay. We're definitely gonna go for exits of, of the evangelists. And we have to get currency as well. Oh man, I'm nervous that we're not gonna get a religion. Luckily these people that have a lot of points are gonna like finish and get theirs soon. How expensive is it to purchase a settler? 320. That's not bad. Petra in the spot to the east would be insane. Yeah, like these, either of these cities with a Petra, probably this one would be just broken. Oh, we got one free population. How close are we? Ugh. That person has seven and they have five? Oh my god. Everybody's making so many great profit points. How many religions are there? There's three more to be had. So they're gonna get one. Or maybe they're not. They're not recruiting it. Oh, this makes me nervous now. If we don't get a great profit, I'm gonna be so sad. Because <laughs> this game is, like, so good. It's looking so good. So they're getting five per turn. How many turns do we have until that? We got three turns till that. How many more points do they need? So Japan actually probably won't get a religion. They're getting five though. They only need like 12 more points, so they'll get one on the same turn that we do. Arabia will take my profit. Oh my god, I'd be so mad if, if Arabia's in this game and they take my profit, I'd be so sad. <laughs> I'd be- I'd be destroyed. Okay, well we got early empire, which is like, whatever. Okay, now we can purchase... Shrine. And appoint. Who are we gonna appoint? I don't know. Um... I think we have to just go Reyna. Don't you have enough faith to buy? Oh, you-, you man's got a point. I do. It's kind of expensive though. And I'm I'm gonna get one next turn. Okay, so if I don't get one next turn, then I'll just reload the turn and I'll faith buy it, but 300 faith is a lot to spend on that. 
I'm pretty sure I should have one. Without craftsmanship. Okay, I do. Yeah, good. Whew! A little bit close. <laughs> but we did it. Alright, we need to just get some settlers now. Ah, uh, we have to go. The glorious. Snippy. Oh, I forgot the other P. Snippy. Snippy. Ah, uh, somebody took, uh, Jesuit education. I think we go choral music then. Because we are still going for a culture victory. That's actually not good for going for culture victory, though, because then you make other people get more culture. So... What do we get instead? Maybe we go religious community. Because we are going to be getting a lot of food. Or work ethic. Work ethic is actually pretty good. Nah, maybe we go Zen meditation. Housing? You say housing? Yeah, I think that housing might be okay. What do you guys think? Housing? I th you know what? I think we do go the housing. As for this, what do we go here? I mean, we could go for more gold, which I think is probably like the play. We can get tithe. I don't get a lot of farms. Yeah, yeah, you do have a point. So the housing is useful. Yeah. So let's get the housing, and then let's get let's get tithe. I think. I got the desert uh, folklore pantheon. I did. Yeah. So we're gonna get some ridiculous adjacencies. Why didn't I go with capitalism? <laughs> well, you see, my friend. We will. In, in due time, my friend, in due time. It's because we're not playing America. That's, that's the obvious answer. Okay, so that means Japan's not getting a... Re oh, Japan already has a religion. That would explain. I was like, wow. It's like, really? Japan didn't get a religion? No, they already have one, so... They just don't care. And another barbarian camp spawns the turn after we take that one. Bum bum bum, jump bum, bum bum, jump bum. <clears throat> I kind of feel like I'm starting to lose my voice <laughs> from streaming. Oh no. All right, we need to switch off of currency because we're definitely going to get a trade route, like from other means. That will finish that for us. Let's go for uh, that because we want to get the pyramids. We're going to settle this city next, I think. Do, 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 do. Okay, that scout's down there. I want to make sure that I don't, you know, lose my settler to the scout. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. And it would be pretty detrimental. Alright, let's just, let's build the trader right now. A strong economy begins with a strong... What do we get? I think we just leave everything as is for now, honestly. And let's go for drama and poetry. It's going to take us a good while to get to that. What are your favorite religious beliefs in the game? Holy, um, so I really like, I like choral music. I think Jesuit education is pretty strong. I like crusade. I like, um, I like both church property and tithe. Um, I like, if I'm going religious victory, I like mosques. I think mosques are pretty strong. How long will I play today? I don't know. What time is it? It's like 3 o'clock. I'll probably play for at least another, like, oh, I don't know, maybe half hour. All right, so this city is going to be insane if we can get a Petra. So a Petra we shall try to get. Oh, don't get killed. Oh, well, there's the barbarians. Get our first missionary to go spread our religion. Oh, that's right, that archer's there. Uh-oh, somebody's taking Auckland. Don't take Auckland. Oh my god, there's so many barbarian camps spawning all over the place. Well, we gotta go deal with those, I guess. Bum, 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 bum. Jump, bum. Bum, bum, bum. We actually probably just need to rush for Petra. Oh, well. Okay, so we actually can't do that very soon. Because in four turns, we'll finish our, our trade route. So 
So that gets us some more era score. Maybe we'll go convert Auckland as well. Of the real world religions, which one do you normally choose? I never pick the real world religions. I always make my own. I just think it's more fun. <laughs> Let's go convert Kubasi. What's their quest? Train an archer. We can actually probably do that. There's a flood. Luckily it didn't pillage. Oh, I guess my holy site's not on pillageable territory. That's that's where our Saguba is going to go though. It's going to go right I'm there. Fond of pigs. And I guess we'll send this Actually, let's, let's relocate it over to Kumbai Soleil. Man, names are hard on the Mali though. <laughs> they're not they're not the most straightforward. And let's build the pyramids. Put them up here, so that way we can put another... We can put a theater square there. Pasteurized milk with the cows. Good religion. What? <laughs> Wish I knew what that meant. Alright, yeah, let's go to Kumasi. Money. And that gets us our Sugubas. Bum, bum, bum. Jump, bum. Bum, bum. Jump, bum. We really do need more settlers as well. We need gold for that though. Which, 440. Moderately expensive, but not terrible. Hello, Medusa. I've watched you a bit. Oh, nice. Thanks for stopping by. It's an eruption. Oh, it's the eruption that's doing damage to Auckland. Okay, that makes me feel better because I, I want Auckland to be in the game. Oh, yeah. Man, look at that. Auckland's in an insanely strong spot. Look at that. Like, that's like, that's good land over there. Alright, let's start working towards that. How much, how many turns does it take to build our Saguba? Only six? Because if that's the case, we honestly should probably at least place it down first. Oh, we can't put it on... Okay, yeah, never mind. We can't put it on floodplains. Do we put it there? Yeah, I think we do. Let's get that down first, and then we'll finish the pyramids. Because I don't want to go... I want to start getting these settlers out. And to do that, we need to make sure we have our, you know, districts down. So that way we can get the cheaper purchasing. Jen needs a mosque. Maybe a great one. <laughs> it sounds like something that would be in, like, the, uh... uh what's the guy's name? I forget the guy's name, but the guy that does like the History of Japan video and the History of the World, or the entire History of the World, I guess, you know? That guy. That sounds like something he would say. Maybe it even is something in his videos that I just forgot about. But... Oh, found another continent. Okay, I think this guy will live. How many, uh... We need a population of four greater, so we'll, we'll get that in a few turns. Let's get a builder. Bill Wart, yeah, Bill Wurtz. That's the name. That's that's the man, the myth, the legend himself. Those videos belong in a museum. They really do, though. They're so funny. Okay, someone's over there. Is that Greece? Wow, look at this mountain pass. This is actually like sick. Oh, it's the Inca. Well, I was just about to say, man, that would be insane if you were playing the Inca, and they were the Inca, so. Let's put our scout there, so that way they can't walk through it and settle. <laughs> I don't want them coming over here, stealing my beautiful land. Alright, we didn't get a Golden Age, did we? No. So, we still should go for Exit the Evangelist. We do need to get Golden Ages. And look, we can purchase a Settler. Yeah, we'll just chill that guy there, so that way they can't... He can't move any settlers through. <laughs> World Congress. Um, let's vote for this for Snippy Snippy. And let's vote for this for City Center. Faith buy all those markets. Oh, yeah, that's right. Good point. Get the Faith buy on the market over there. So, free market. 
Ding 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 ding. Delegation for Pachacuti. Pachacuti. Am I right, ladies? The world's a stage, and all the men Someone probably just cringed so hard at the fact I just said that. That's okay, though. It happens, it happens to the best of us, you know? How much does a trader cost? 165. So not all that cheap. We're gonna try to clear this barb encampment, I think. Let's, we gotta plan out. What victory am I going for? I'm gonna go for a culture victory, I think. Oh, okay, it's a barbarian swordsman. Or maybe we're not gonna deal with him yet. What was your first Civ game, and have I, have I considered doing older Civ Cotton? My first game was Civ 4. Um, I'm not really, I'm not really planning on doing any older content, no. Um, just because, especially at this point, like, those games are not specifically popular anymore. <laughs> I mean, they're not bad, but, you know. Where do we put the holy site here? Hmm. See, I want to leave most of these hills for the Petra that's going to go in that city. Maybe we'll go there. The holy site there, and then the Saguba there. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We could go four and we can get one here. Ooh. City. Oh, man. Get one over here. Actually, we might as well just go five away for this guy. Put him up here. Actually, that's not as good, though, because that's less desert. So, yeah, that one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We could go maybe down here. And then one, two, three, four, five. Get another one here. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess five there. One, two, three, four. Probably up here. I think that looks pretty good. Probably another one. One, two, three, four. Maybe another one over here on this coast. Ah, eh, probably not actually. And then probably another one, like, one, two, three, four, five. Another one just on the point of the island. Gotta plan out all those cities. The internet will not forget that. Yes, I did cringe. Wait, what's everybody cringing at? Did I do something embarrassing that I didn't even realize? <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Two of the spots are too close to each other. Oh, yep, that's only three, isn't it? Okay, so get rid of that guy. Are two of the spots? Oh yeah, it's just those ones, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We'll probably settle there instead, I guess. I think that looks pretty good. Let's get another missionary so we can at least convert our city over there to our religion. Keep running away with this guy. I have Alzheimer's? Yeah, I probably did something embarrassing and didn't even realize it. Half is the best of us, what can I say? I want to make sure that this guy doesn't come and pillage my holy site. <laughs> trying my best to make sure he doesn't, but he probably will. Oh, get out of there with that. I'm gonna purchase another missionary just in case, but we're gonna finish the pyramids next turn, which is really nice. Oh, okay, that guy actually From did indeed die. Oops. Am I right, ladies? Oh, ladies, please. Let's purchase an archer here. I think that gets us an envoy with Kumasi. I'm sure they're going to raise that. 
Yep. Divide and rule. That's not nice. <laughs> Jump em, bump em, bump em, bump em. We should probably get some. Uh, actually, let's go for the combat strength against barbarians. Because we are going to have to smack a few of those around. Okay, we should get an archer over here as well. And we can purchase a market. And we probably want to get another trader as well. How many times did I reroll? I think only once, right? Or was it twice? Yeah, 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 because there was only ever one Christina that got spammed. So, surprisingly, only once. I see, this is the part where I kind of suck at playing Molly. Because, like... I don't have very much going on right now in my empire. And it's going to take me a few turns until I can start building more settlers as well. So this for me is like the difficult part. It's the skull icon next to unit range attack. Um, there isn't one. So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Uh, uh, for this guy, yeah, that's that, that's that's to delete units. It, it it happens. I don't know. I think they have to. They might. Oh, I didn't expect that. Yikes! Without mathematics, I like to. All right, boys, f in the chat. <laughs> um. Hmm. Well, that happened. Well, okay, what turn is this? Turn 100, in case we have to save Scum, which we probably will. We need to keep this trade route going to Kumasi. Otherwise, it's not going to be very good for us. That city's definitely just dead. Okay, well. Let's load back a few turns, I guess. Go five turns back. <laughs> How can there be a World Congress and you haven't met everyone yet? You don't have to meet everyone in Civ 6 to, for the World Congress to start. Is that a mod? No, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, not a mod. Like it's in the base game. From humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron. And All right. Well, I guess I'll purchase the archer in that city instead. Then. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets. A collection of heaven. Boom, boom, boom. Jump, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Jump, boom. Guides us to foreign shores. Mansa hmm. Musa. This is going to be difficult. King of Mali, you are blessed with wealth beyond comprehension, yet you remain uncorrupted. Raise your eyes from the marketplace to the heavens and satisfy your heart's great yearning for peace. Protect the prosperity of your people, and history will write your name in golden letters. All right, hopefully we, uh... Have a way to be able to deal with this. Okay, so that's the turn when we finish the pyramids. So up here we want one of. The, uh, we shouldn't have bought them up there. That's a mistake. <laughs> Gotta re reload it again. Because that was way more expensive. Because we didn't have the saguba in that one. Just feel. Uh, wait. I just feel if you start the World Congress, then you should meet all the civs in the game. It just makes more sense. Yeah, it does. But like, I don't know. It's not how it works. I guess. From humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron, and rule with horse jump, and bum, sword. Bum, 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 the sky bum, above bum, begins jump, to reveal its secrets. A collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. Guides us to foreign shores. Great king of Mali. You are blessed with All right, let's not play like idiots this time. And by us, I mean. Me. Raise your eyes from the marketplace to the heavens, and satisfy your heart's great yearning for peace. Protect beat the, the yeah. I I, I can I can try to beat up Japan. Whether or not I'll succeed, I don't know. From the height of these pyramids. Okay, so I guess we have to wait at least two turns because we don't have a Saguba up there yet. Uh, 
Um. Hmm. There's too much going on right now. Oh, that if river flood. Did that river flood last time? It might have. It probably did, but I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, I guess we want a goge this time. Maybe caravansaries and that. Doom, boom, 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 boom. Oh, we need to change this guy to producing walls as well. Oh, and of course our market got pillaged already. <laughs> that didn't take long. We should try to maybe send him a delegation or something as well. Make a deal. Maybe let's try to like trade something. What would what would you take for that? Sure, let's just let's try to do that. Maybe that'll just make him generally less inclined to declare war on me? That's the hope, at least. <laughs> I could be totally wrong. Okay, well, he's not unfriendly with us anymore, so that's a good start. Because honestly, if we can even just delay it by, like, a few turns, then that'll be good. If we're even just able to get to the point where we could get up our walls. Oh, he sent me a delegation this time, though. Without mathematics, I feel like he's definitely still th over there thinking about it. He's, he's definitely he's asking for friendship again. Wasting production on a market? Oh, yep, you got a point. Man's got a point. Just buy it. I guess let's build walls over there as well. Hopefully he doesn't declare war on me this time. I think he still is going to, but... Oh, I'm wasting it down there too, aren't I? Yeah. Have I always been producing that? Why did I do that? I'm losing it, guys. Oh, that's right. Wait, we can start producing Petra. That's what we need. Get a nice Petra up here. And we do need theology as well. Oh, I was oh I was repairing it, okay. Well, I think that that city is probably just gone, it looks like. Doesn't appear there's really anything we can do about it, which means that Japan is just really ruining this game for us. Yeah, okay, there goes that. Ugh. Why am I so bad? I wish I knew. Because <laughs> this is just setting us back so far. Like, every time we end up at war, and we have to spend money on things that aren't settlers. Oh, the market and my capital, yeah. Oh, never mind, I reread that. See, I'm losing it today. Uh, we should definitely finish those ancient walls, because if we lose this city as well, it's game over. This one is maybe not game over. It, like, losing that one is... it's bad. Like, don't get me wrong, it's very bad. It doesn't help that we now all have these things down here that are just killing us. Pillaging everything that we're building as well, so... Everything has it. We can know See, I'm more. telling you, that's, this is the big problem with Molly, is the, their early game is so slow. It's way too slow. Like, we're on turn 100 and we have two cities. That is horrendously bad. Okay, and now we just lost suitorship for them. That's why you play Canada, no surprise wars. Yeah, the Canada's just really boring, though. I guess we're going to go to Auckland now. Because we, we can't not be making gold. And now Kumasi's going to... Is Kumasi going to come kill us? Yep. Okay, well. 
They're, they're gonna pillage our trade route, for sure. Reroll. I hate, I'd hate to reroll this, though, because it looks, it's such a good spawn. For now, actually, we're gonna, we're gonna stick with it. All right, we can, we can purchase another settler right now. That's good. I'm not sending this guy out yet. It's not happening. I don't know what that guy pillaged, because I don't think we had anything on that tile, but evidently we might have. Um, <laughs> I wanted to propose buy the CS unit. Yeah, that's that's honestly what I was probably... I was going to try to buy their units, so that way I could then um, use them to take back that city, but uh, the game decided that that was not happening today. How does Kamasi have three swords? Actually, they have five swordsmen, not just three. As to how, I really have no idea. Maybe we're starting to put a little bit more focus on early defense? Yeah, maybe. Ah, this is such a nice spawn, though. But yeah, you can see why this is a problem with Molly, because like, sure, I have some gold, but I have, it's turn 113, and I have two cities, seven science per turn, and a 5.9 culture. And I mean, now my gold output is tanking as well, so. Restart it is. We failed. Everybody spam those Christinas. That should be two Christinas from, from the members. <laughs> From mm -hmm. the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great Actually, I should probably pay attention to what time it is. I might have to go. I guess we'll uh, take a look at the spot and then we'll see. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization. Mission failed, we'll get him next time. Hopefully we will. Musa, great king of Mali. You are blessed with wealth beyond just lost a copy of the seeds for the map. Yeah, I probably should have done that. Corrupted. See, that's like cheating, though. Your eyes from the marketplace to the heavens and satisfy your heart's great <laughs> yearning <laughs> for peace. Protect the prosperity of your people, and history will write your name in golden letters. I ah, see, like, if Japan didn't declare war on us that game, that would have been such a good game. But alas. Oh, this is not that good. I mean, this is a good spawn if we weren't playing the Molly. All right, yeah, I think this is probably where we're going to call it for the stream for today, just because i got to go and do some other stuff. Um, so thank you for everybody that tuned in. Uh, thank you for the new members. Thank you for everybody that donated as well. Um, you know, obviously I can give my usual spiel of if you want to support the channel, become a channel member or check out my game store in the link in the video description below. Um, but yeah. So thank you for everybody that tuned in, and we'll probably play Molly again next week whenever we actually, um, like, for next Saturday's stream. So I will stream again next Saturday at around noon, um, and yeah. So thank you, and goodbye.